They said we only watching Clayton Clark cause he beautiful. Nicki Minaj out here getting arrested overseas. And Sean Kingston over there getting his mama arrested. Man, she's 61, Sean Kingston. What is you doing? But hey, man, it's all going down today. Tales from the crib. So you already know what you need to do. Go on, hit that, hit that subscribe button. While you at it, hit that like button. Matter of fact, hit that notification bell. Cause you already know we got the mess, we got the tea. Man, Travis Scott, I heard you got the beat down put on you, in France. You got mushed. Man, it's crazy. I had Tiger leaping. Tiger was on the prowl. I think he was looking for some trappy trap. Two boy Chico Grande, Chico two times. That's Felix, two time and supreme. And we're back for another episode. Hey, listen about a fraud like Sean Kingston. Yeah, he's frauding everybody. Yo, he's still in lean, still in watches, still in TVs. I wish I could fry like Sean Kingston. We've been living the life. We have three studios. Yeah, jail, jail, in the penitentiary. But hey, man, this episode 158, this tells from the crib. You already know what it is. The messiest show on earth. We're giving you, you your weekly tea. It is what it is. Best podcast out, man. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we keep it twisted like our tea. Shout out our official sponsor, non-sponsor, Twisted Tea. Maybe one day they'll officially sponsor us. No way. But until then, I've been hit seen, the like button. I've been seeing a lot of Twisted comment. Tea commercials coming up. Like a lot, lot more. Super chat us. Because you can super chat us. So you really love us. <laughs> you Multiple this, super chats. You just want the we'll money. We'll shout you out. You just want the money for the Twisted Tea. Or just cash app us. You're going to be like those girls that be like, oh, no, I had a bad day. Who's going to send my cash app? <laughs> Stop posting your cash app cash on the that. story. This is this this guy has too many girls that follows his account. I've never ever posted my cash like, on Instagram. I gotta gotta get a new haircut. Who's gonna pay for it? <laughs> Clearly nobody paying for it. <laughs> Hit the that's cash you, up. That's how you know you're lying. He sent the request. <laughs> but he <laughs> just declined. <laughs> he sent it to the podcast budget and then they they declined it. Disrespectful. No, I'm just kidding. But we're going to get into some nastiness, some funness. Welcome to the episode. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you had a great Memorial weekend. Let us mm. know. Did you barbecue? Did you hop in the pool? I hopped in the pool. You did for real? Yeah. Let's get my jacuzzi on. See, I ain't, ain't with it. I ain't with it. See, the, the pool dirty. I ain't got time for it. These kids be doing the unthinkable in the pool. And I ain't got time to swim. I swim with my, my mouth open. Oh, yeah, you definitely uh, acting like a filter. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to catch in your mouth. <laughs> this but speaking balls. of not knowing what they're going to catch, we got Nicki Minaj possibly getting some random charges. What is she going to catch? She was, uh, where was she coast? It looks like my, it looks like McQueen was in Amsterdam, you know, go, doing her, doing her uh, extra shows on her tour? tours, uh, extra shows on the tours because we didn't know. Was it wasn't a Pink album tour. The Pink, she has the um, the Pink Friday, the Pink Friday two tour going on. It's been doing so good. She added thirteen more shows to it, and also on top of that, she just added a second leg to it that started. I think it said started in. Um, what next a couple of months it's gonna start the second leg of the tour it's gonna to be overseas but she already made like 61 67 million dollars off the first one so i mean this is why she going overseas but it looks like here yeah, she can't do what she want to do because too rock many nation is hating on her megan and stallion is sending out the police to shop her tour to stop her shine because you know megan and stallion, megan and stallion got connects like that i mean i'm just saying rock nation got connects like that look at think about it Making a stallion got her tour going on. Uh with Gorilla. They both don't they both don't like uh Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. hopped off the plane and it was like <laughs> Exactly, man. Even though even though the bodyguard said that it's stage it's they marijuana, police wasn't trying to hear it. It looks like here Nicki Minaj wanted to be brave and just live stream the whole thing. So the police had to show her who was the boss and this is what happens. We got a video right here. Uh, basically, what's I'm glad going my on. co-host wasn't there because my co-host was an overseas he policeman. Looked, he would have been frisking a little too hard. That would like, calm down. Yeah, get, get, like this. That was a joke. But I'd now be they like, got you, now they got you in 1080p. I'd be like, Plaza, Plaza, Jamie Foxx, please excuse my hands. Okay, I'm gonna I... get your hands off the screen. Uh, but let's watch this. This is a classic. Go to the police station. What? What? How? What address is that? It's five minutes away. It's they, they what's, what's the address of the police station? It's down the street. We're just going to detain you, you for a little uh, bit. We'll catch you next show. We have to do it very fast. And we will help, but... but you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, How yeah. do they know? We talk. They will help to try to get you there. 
They'll have they to try to get me to my show. How? Uh, How are you going to get me to my show? We're going to help you. We're going to help you. Just step up the What am I doing? Step up the What am I doing? I never gave anyone my... I never... Oh, I'm... Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But under arrest for what? Stop for you no. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came you here? Have to go inside. Answer the question, Sasha Bob. Can you please stop filming? Just step in the car first. No, I need a lawyer, but I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer. You're gonna go the office. Far, far away. She been released. Horrible. Now she released. She only spent like five or six hours in jail. So it basically means that she was not long enough to be uh take her pictures, get fingerprinted, and you know they give her a fine because you know in Amsterdam like they want you to think like it's a uh, oh yeah you can smoke and do whatever you want there. Just cheap keep all over the place. You can't. You, you can't. You only can smoke like that in coffee shops, and it's only personal use is like five grams. But what's five grams? It's like one blunt. I'm putting a whole five in the blunt, like my dog Chief Keep say. We, you need to support us down below if we want to be like Chief Key. <laughs> support out. So right now the streets is hurting. <laughs> the kitchen cabinet hurting. <laughs> we got to write a diss track. Nah, but um, nah, but I mean, this is just diabolical. I mean, all Nicki Minaj is trying to do is you know smoke her ganja, you know go across, do her little tours and make her little coins. But it looks like do her I mean, little toys. Uh, do her do a little tour. Get oh, coins. Oh, tour tour. So I mean, but it looks like here. I mean, she came off the plane. With the stuff, and they already checked her leg. They checked her luggage, putting it on the plane. So her whole, whole thing was they well, tried to they tried to get her. Why are you trying to double? Yeah, why are you trying to double check my stuff? If you already checked it going on the because plane, why are you checking it going on? Because we the rap style, and then you Snoop Dogg and Chief Keef. <laughs> they heard about us. Uh, smoke, it. smoke. <laughs> We know you like it. We know you like it, Smokey, Smokey. Yeah. Nah, but I mean, if you don't remember, I mean, it's a lot of people, a lot of celebrities from the United States have been getting arrested overseas. If you remember Snoop Dogg in 2015. Coast is going to take the fall if we get caught overseas. Hell nah. That's what I'll, we get. Get, I'll get Donald Trump to get to send the troops mm-hmm. after you. That's what we, mm-hmm. we ain't doing none of that. But nah, you had, you had Snoop Dogg getting arrested. You had Brittany Griner getting arrested. You remember you had ASAP Rocky was getting arrested also. ASAP Rocky was getting arrested here for shooting his friend. I mean, he got arrested in Sweden. When he got he was in jail for like six months, he got yes. he got in a fight because the fans, a fan was trying to this person was trying to, like a fan, but then he's like, oh yeah, trying to get a drop on him. him. He, yeah, he should, then he got in a fight. You know, they didn't believe it. So, I mean, you had that situation. But back to what I was saying, man. How do you feel about these celebrities going overseas bringing contraband? Do you feel like they just need to stop doing it because you know how people overseas feel about Americans? Like they don't even though you know she's not a fully American. You know um, how do they feel? We like, can't claim her. I mean, we claiming her, but you mean people like overseas, like France and all that stuff. Consider, American citizens. Consider us all say American that. citizens. Yeah, I mean, they hate us. They hate us because they ain't us. Everyone knows that. They hate us because they ain't us. Exactly. I mean, they put Brian, Brittany, they put Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner was almost there for like, what, 10 years? That's what I worry about, man. Overseas is cool, but sometimes there's too much stuff going on in the world. Like, you don't want to get caught up. True. You know, overseas, when some over, overseas stuff is going on. Exactly. And then think about it. How long do you think it would have took? For uh, Joe Biden to get Nicki Minaj out if Nicki Minaj would have stayed there. Because Brittany Griner was there for at least like oh, two Oh, th- easily. He would have got her out in like two weeks. <laughs> two weeks? He's like, I'll give you back your top assassins, your top bomb builders. Oh, <laughs> You're making a comeback. Exactly. That's the same thing they did for Brittany Griner. They gave away like one of their top, like, um, one of their top uh, weapons ass- dealers. Weapons dealers. And they gave him some money, and they freed a couple other people. So I mean, it's never looking fair. You know, we still send it's like it. a, the Americans are like they're so dumb they keep on ruining it for their own country. They keep coming down. With, we keep on getting our guys back because they're stupid. Exactly, because for some strange reason, for some strange reason, people in America believe that people overseas really give a f about our rules and our regulations and everything. I like mean, that, it depends on who it is overseas. Because I know some countries like us, not necessarily because they like us as people, because they like us as business. It's a lot of I them. mean, it's funny because it's like I always wondered. It's like they say like there's tension with us. Like I understand us, us in Russia. We don't have any really links with them. We don't do business with them. But I don't understand how China could be like, hey, let's be friends with Russia instead of the United States. Where are they going to export all their exports? True. Like it, it seems like 85 percent of stuff is made in China. You're going to cut that off. That is probably like I mean, that's, that's probably a huge chunk of their economy. Uh, Russia's not going to be able to fill that void True. of them uh, building products for them. They don't have as many people. 
and the and even if they do have numbers that are somewhere close like a lot of the people are like indigenous people mm -hmm. so it's like uh you know people that like live in their their like old style ways where they might not even have like uh, I guess what you consider normal type homes or apartments, they would have like huts and stuff. So yeah, the, if you look at the the landscape of what uh, Russia is, it's pretty crazy. True, <clears throat> spread out, <laughs> and it's wild. It's a wild. Nah, but uh, so do you? Are you ready? Does Nicki Minaj owe us a first day out freestyle? Now the technically she was in jail. Wait, does that qualify for a first day out freestyle? Because Gucci Man gave yeah, us I mean, one. It could. If she wanted to play it up, she could. Come if on, she was now. smart. She would do a, a Roman's Revenge first day out. Inside it, and decide this and uh, Megan Thee Stallion. She needs to diss her again. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand how, like, uh, we cover a lot of the Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki stuff. And it would be like, uh, everyone was like, oh, Nicki Minaj was messed up for, like, dissing her mom. Like, Hug it. That was too far. And I'm like, it's a diss. They don't like each other. What do you mean that's too far? <laughs> you see Drake. And that's see. like, he dunked on him too savagely. I don't like that player anymore. They don't like that. They don't like, they don't like that, all that aggressive male stuff. You see what, uh. They with said on South Park? With Drake, nah, with Drake and uh, Kendrick Lamar. And they said, like, oh, yeah. They going real below the bill. He's saying, oh, how you hanging out with people that oh, mess with. Someone on one of our video clips where we were talking about the Drake and Kendrick beef, and they're like, uh, that wasn't Kendrick that, that uh, uh, had people shoot at Drake's people. They're like, why are you trying to connect it to him? And I'm like, do you not understand, like, satire? Like, do you not understand that we're joking around half the time and we say allegedly, and we sometimes literally wink at the camera because we know we're just BSing? You gotta understand, like, I don't know, like, it's like uh, the dude from um, Guardians of the Galaxy, what's uh -huh. the buff one? Oh, uh... Drax? Drax, yeah. Drax the Destroyer? Yeah, like, when he's like, he's like, man, a lot of stuff goes over your head, and he goes, nothing would go over my head, I would catch it. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> it went over your head again. Horrible. But comment down, comment down below how you feel about this whole Nicki Minaj situation. Do you feel like it's the right nation behind it, or do you feel like it's just people just need to stop trying to bring contraband uh, through the plane? Because I mean, I don't know why you'll do that. If you're a celebrity, you go into Amsterdam, they got it there. You you're might as well get it from there. Yeah, I mean, you got it there. Why would you? You don't need to travel with it. Why'd you but some people get so accustomed to uh, like flying private mm -hmm. that they think that, like you know they're like, oh, I don't. What do you mean get checked? I don't even go to a real airport. I just True. get on a little private jet. I go from the car to the jet. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. But that's what happened when Juice World got caught up. Oh yeah, they were on his private jet, and he was like, oh, I'm flying with like a decent amount of like banned stuff allegedly and he's like i don't want to get caught with this and so i still don't understand that's still a really weird way like i don't i think you would have to be smart enough to know that if you try to ingest like a whole weekend's worth of drugs allegedly in one in one go like you have to know that's not going to go good for you especially when you're looking at things like pills and other yeah, Things I mean, like that. It, it knows so many people around. He could have just passed it around to everybody, but he Everyone just, take three. <laughs> exactly. Everybody take, We're going to get toasted while we get arrested. Nah, but he but he took them all. But, I mean, the same thing happened to Rallo. That's what happened to Rallo. He got arrested because the uh, they had the they had the packages wrapped up in Christmas presents in the plane. And the, in the, uh, the, 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 the pilot and everybody said, oh, yeah, it smells like this. They told the police officer, and then, like, that's when they started following them, tracking them and everything like that, because a lot of rappers are doing that. They go to California and everything, getting the bags and stuff, putting it on a private jet, then flying back. But that's how he got caught. So, I mean, these private jets ain't so private. They catching everybody, except for P. Diddy. You remember, he got on this private jet. Oh, they're still, they're still waiting to strike. <laughs> they're waiting to embarrass him at the most opportune time. I mean, hey, he's gonna get another like lifetime achievement award, and then they're gonna tackle him. You see, they try, you see, they try to take away his Hollywood star, and they said, "Now you can't do that." Nah, but because there's too many Hollywood stars have done it just as bad. Michael days. Jackson. You know what's crazy is like how big Michael Jackson is overseas, and a lot of like the overseas artists are like he was inspiration, but they like they never want to even like bring up like they never what will. he got in trouble for. I was like, did they did they hide that from overseas? Do we only know about that in the states? They don't care. I mean, they say overseas. When you go overseas, these these uh these uh these so fans are like gods. Are like gods. Like they don't they don't like bothering them. They don't like bother them when they're walking down the street, oh. in their restaurants, and everything. They respect them. I would love to be overseas and then be like running to somebody we know. I'll be like, hey, <laughs> come here and take a picture. <laughs> you did run away. My co, you're my co, you're my co's favorite. 
That's what you get And then A$AP Rocky on uh, Rocket punch you in the face But speaking of getting Rocket punched in the face And my co-host's favorite artist That was a great segue Travis Scotty Travis, How did you get that? Travis Scotty doesn't know Got into a physical altercation At uh, What is that? Kane's party? What is that? It's in a uh, Cannes, France This is film festival uh, However you say it I don't know We're not French it's a film festival that goes on. This goes on to France. This is actually the seventy seventh film festival they had going on between the time of uh, May fourteenth to May twenty fifth. was like respect me. Exactly. Oh no no. But I mean, if everybody want to know what it is, I mean, if you remember earlier this week the whole Kelly Rowland situation, when, like she's walking up the steps, just like yelling at the white lady, like stop talking like that, stop brushing me. This is the same. Get fe- your hands this is the same festival that uh, that they're attending. It looks like here. Yeah, I mean, it, it went left. I mean, looks like they invited Travis Scott and Tyga to come to the uh, festival. Travis Scott was finna perform, so I'm guessing Tyga was finna perform because I mean, that is th- funny. What? They're like we're having Kard- Kardashian X Fest. Exactly. You know how much she, I looked this up. You know how much these tickets? These tickets cost two hundred, two hundred and fifty k, all over the five hundred k to go to this con- this uh this festival to see Tyga. No, not and to see Travis? not to see Tyga. It's like it's like uh Complex Con and like all the other festivals. Oh, go on. oh, it's like one of those rich people events. So like to book a section and like do this and that mm-hmm. it costs a lot of money. To book a section and do all this stuff that costs money, and then uh, you go to do the you see gotta give us shows. a super thanks so next year we could go. And then my co-host can get in a fight and we can go viral. <laughs> Hard. Who are you fighting, co-host? Soldier Boy. He easy lick. To, Soldier Boy would be our friend. He easy lick. He all fight everybody. If you want to get everybody knows, if you're trying to get the quick money, you go at JT, you go at Soldier Boy, you go at Sukiyana. You can go at Sukiyana. That'd be an equal fight. <laughs> but and I don't know. If you go at Big Draco, I might have to jump in on Draco's side. The we, biggest. We got 158 episodes together. What kind of disrespect is that? Soldier Boy's been with me since middle school. <laughs> what the fuck? You weren't there that that long. He wasn't there. You with me in the gym. You wasn't there in the middle school gyms. Nah, but back to what we were saying. So it looks like yeah, uh, Tiger and uh, Tiger and Travis Scott were entering the club. Tiger got Travis Scott in the headlock, and I was like, "This mm, <laughs> horrible." Mm, mm, mm. The DJ started yelling out, "Oh yeah, we Respect got celebrities me. entering the building. We got Travis Scott. We got Tiger." And I guess t- Travis Scott didn't like that, so you know he went on stage to talk to the DJ. He's like, "Nah, I play boy. We ain't doing none of that." And then I guess Tiger got wind of that. He ain't like that. So Tiger, his entourage, which which was Southside, no, which was AE, which is Amber Rose, and baby boyfriend. daddy, and Cher's current baby dad, current boyfriend, <laughs> boyfriend which is crazy. She got him pregnant. She's you want to get Cher pregnant? Cher's too old, dog. Now you put her on on on, on Olympic. Put her on not, that. Not put her everyone's on that like Olympic. like you and AB trying to get. Uh, Did you? Was what is that his name? AB. Yeah, Adrian Broner? No, who shares the dude? A.E. A.E.? Yeah. Yeah, not everyone is like you and him trying to get these uh, social security checks off these women. (laughs) No, no, trying to get the 50 cent pancakes from AHA. Oh, you were hitting some pancakes. (laughs) That's sloppy. Nah, I'll put some syrup on that. But uh, (laughs) I bet it stank, don't it? (laughs) When I put some clone on that. <laughs> so you disrespectful, nah. It's chemicals. I eat a whole jean jacket before I go for a mess with Cher, but nah. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna leave that. Nah, one. but so I mean, so the fight broke out. So it looks like AE, who's on Tiger's side, started fighting with uh, Travis Scott. He took him to the ground. And Travis Scott rushed and him. South side, and it looks like yeah. I mean, the fight got crazy. Uh, we were going to show it, but uh, the videos that we saw on channels would do it, that they had to go back and blur it out where their videos were getting blocked. So we didn't even want to mess with that. So you can check out the videos on your own. Um, you don't want to see it. it. I don't know if you can find it on YouTube or if they keep blocking it, but if not, you can probably find it on, X, on TikTok. X or Twitter or TikTok. You find it on X TikTok man TikTok. Uh, fighting stuff? Sometimes the pen I grew some again. I mean, but this wasn't. It was like the same. It's video the, games when it's not. And you know the crazy part about it is when I was when I saw this video pop up. It reminded me, or you of when? Uh, no, no. It, it reminded me. It, it had me thinking like, how are these people so rich and famous, but this camera quality is so uh, shitty? Someone had to say like it's not in 4K. Someone was like, Psh. exactly. Like it was like it wasn't in 4K. Nothing. It was the most blurry picture at all. And like somehow these people got this closest. 
of look at Travis Scott. He's like he's screaming for his life. But if you didn't know, I mean, this isn't the first Travis Scott fight that's already went viral. He had the Tory Lane situation. And then he got beat up by Rich the Kid, right? Nah, that was Lil Uzi. Oh, Lil Uzi beat up Rich the Kid. Lil Uzi and Lil Rich the Kid, where uh, Lil Uzi pulled up and had Rich the Kid run, he running. Jumped through the drive-thru window to get away from through the drive-thru window. Jumped through the drive-thru window. Disrespectful. Then Lil Uzi was wearing pink sweatpants and still you, made him run. Then you have the alleged Travis Scott versus Meek Mills at the uh, Michael Rubin all white party. And Meek Mills threw him in the pool. <laughs> Nah, he ain't throw him in the pool. They uh, they end up kicking, he was dunking him. They end up kicking Mick Mill out of the party. But it's crazy how Mick Mill and be going to the Michael Rubin party now, and I think Travis Scott he goes was, there now too. So they were both bunny hopping together. I mean, hopefully they got the, they made that amends. And I don't know, but I mean, this probably makes sense why I never got any Travis Scott and Mick Mill songs together because of that whole situation. Yeah, I mean, Mick Mill. It's crazy when you have like Mick Mill son you, and Mick Mill gets sunned by everyone on the internet every day. So to get sunned by a guy that gets sunned like that, that's pretty sunny. But they getting sunned by a tra- I guess he's sunny But side getting sunned by somebody like Tory Lane, who's like five foot five, five foot two. He's a Chihuahua. He's got a bite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it ain't it ain't looking good. But I mean, so do you think that this whole thing was about Kylie Jenner? Uh, yeah, for sure. Cause you know they're both you, jealous. Cause you didn't know uh, Tiger dated Kylie Jenner first when she wasn't. She's the one with the uh, the dude from Willy Wonka now, right? Did they? She, I thought she Timothy was, Chalamet. Oh, she, Chalamet. So she broke up with Travis Scott. Yeah, I mean, she, I thought they broke up. She's I thought it with was the like, Wonka. I, I, hey, I, hey, she's still at the chocolate factory, but she's just dating the head dude now. Horrible. So I thought you know I thought she was doing the whole uh, Trisha Thompson and uh, Khloe Kardashian thing where how like you know she's like oh well. Uh, even though Trisha Thompson's messing with all these other women, I only want kids with him, so I'm only gonna mess with him. I thought she was doing that thing, but I mean, hey, I'm more power to her. She in these streets still, back in these streets. She wants kids from everyone. Horrible. But comment down below how you feel about this whole Travis Scott Tiger situation. Oh, I had the video of Tiger, you know, showing his face is all clean. Oh yeah, you didn't send it to me. I did. Send Tiger it to was you. on the boat. He was cruising and said, check the face, check the swag. Tiger got the lime and the coconut. <gasps> this guy's trash. I just said, you remember the lime and the coconut song? Um, I put the lime and the coconut, coconut twisted it all up. Because he's Travis, uh, Travis McCoy from hmm. Gym Class Heroes. What about him? I think Ty- isn't Tiger related to the dude from uh, Gym Class Heroes? Yeah, and Pharrell. Yeah, he's directed for Pharrell? For- <laughs> no. Nah, fact, hey, fact check that. Fact check you know that. what's funny is I just be bull, bull, uh, BSing sometimes, and people be like, I didn't know that fact. And I'm like, it's not a fact. I'll be all this, I'll be, all, I'll be out here getting these facts. And this guy, he I mean, be, I, I usually think that y'all can tell when I'm joking, but y'all can never tell. It's horrible. But then they want to, I'll, I'll be looking, I'll be going down in the comments and everything, and they be talking like, oh, this is wrong. And I'm like, I wonder what my co host said. He's like, oh. But you know what's wrong, but oh, so, so, right? What? We got Lizzo getting absolutely barbecued chicken on South Park. Oh, they ate her up and spit her out. And we got Lizzo herself reacting to the clip when they're talking uh, about how they used her in the South Park episode. I mean, most people will say that, you know, I've seen this coming. I mean, Lizzo while here po- uh, pro- uh, projecting all this positivity, body positivity, even though she's lying. Because, you know, she's uh, right now going through that whole lawsuit situation where she was making those girls work and she was fat shaming them. But it looks. Yeah, how's she going to get mad at South Park whenever she was doing. Oh, you know what? That's why she didn't get mad at South Park because mm-hmm. she was doing it herself. Exactly. And that's what was so funny because, I mean, we got the clip right here, man. Play the clip. We're going to show y'all basically what uh, South Park did. We're going to come back for you in on the rest. And- 70% of patients on Lizzo no longer cared how much they weighed. I don't give two shits. It's Lizzo helps you eat everything you want and keep physical activity to a minimum. Some patients report oh, constipation man. while listening to Lizzo. Stop listening to Lizzo if you experience suicidal thoughts. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Hypoth- pancreatitis. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You, you got a cousin. Concerns of obesity? Ask about the power of not giving a fuck with Lizzo. God damn. Yeah. At least the 24 minutes in. That's crazy. I just feel like, damn, I'm really that bitch. I'm really that bitch. I really showed the world how to love yourself and not give Beep. a fuck to the point where Beep. these 
men in Colorado know who the fuck I am God and put damn. it on their cartoon that's been around for 25 years. I'm really that bitch, and I'll show y'all how to Her not give a sorry. fuck, and I'm going to keep on showing you how to not give a fuck. And, oh, uh, oh, 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 Lizzo, bitch. Goddamn co. <laughs> Boom. Studies say uh, prescriptions. For weight loss drugs for young people have gone up 600% since 2020. Hopefully, we don't have to cut that clip out, man. Lizzo was, she, it sounded like she was joking, but god dang, she was cussing so much like she was hated. True, but I mean, we're we, we going to talk about both. So this whole Lizzo situation, like my co-host said, she did take it better than most. I mean, nearly, That's what she said. if you go on, horrible, if you go said. online, it's a list of like a whole bunch of celebrities that took this horrible, like Andrew Tate. Kanye West, Donald Trump. Andrew Tate took Ozempic. Uh, no, took Ozempic. He, he was got, he got tried by he got tried by South Park. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember him? Do you remember the, the Lindsay Lohan situation? They made fun of Tom Brady. The Lindsay Lohan situation. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. So I mean, Eric, it's it's like basically an honor right now. If you if you a celebrity, if you don't get tried by South Park, you ain't making it. You, you ain't, ain't making life. You ain't known enough. You like Kel Mitchell. He ain't on Poor South Kale. Park. Kel will never make South Park. Horrible. Maybe Keenan. But J Lo, J Lo made South Park. She was J Lo made South Park and was so mad that she fired she fired people that was actually referencing some of the songs on South Park. So that's how deep it get with it. But I mean, this episode of South Park, we gotta get on Lizzo. You just eat what you want and just speak by body positivity. Exactly. I mean, and it's all lies. And but if you didn't, if you didn't know, South Park is on this twenty sixth season, which is amazing. I mean, this is up there with The Simpsons. So I mean, this twenty six season strong. I mean, this episode is on um on was it, this on HBO Max, but right now it's not uploaded. But you can catch it on Paramount if you got the streaming that Paramount I ain't paying for Man, it. Man, I hate how all the apps are all mixed and crossed. And oh, you gotta have this one, but you gotta pay extra to unlock this side of it. Oh, but we're partnered with them, so you might as well do this one. It's like, man, we're back to cable. Exactly. We'll be like, oh, back to cable. We'll be like, oh yeah, you know, if you want to watch South Park, you can watch the South Park. But if you want to watch the new episodes, you have to get it on Paramount. But you know, it's on all the other it's on all the other streaming platforms like Philo and HBO Max, but if you don't watch it, yeah, P H I L O. It's a, it's it's a whole never bunch of heard apps. of it. It's I me. Mean, it's a lot of apps. It's a lot of lot of apps out here that's just taking people money. But like you said, here, man, this Ozempic stuff is going crazy. You seen Oprah go on it? You know they're saying uh, Oprah used it to take weight loss. It was so bad that um the Weight Watchers had to kick her off because she wasn't she wasn't all natural. She wasn't all natural. You see, I mean. Uh, Allegedly making a stallion and saying that she was on it. I mean, this is just hard. But I mean, it looks like people either getting BB, they doing plastic surgery, getting BBLs, BBL or they having those Olympic parties. What's up with BBL Jersey? <laughs> oh, hard, is but that what your favorite song? Yeah, it is. How come? Why? I just want everybody to love their body and love their stuff. I mean, like God made you who you. What? No, no? you don't feel like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. People can talk trash uh, no matter what. True. You but I, you do, I, do think you it, I think it's funny, you know. But the thing is, you don't want to be to a fault. You want to be like, oh, I love myself, but I'm also 300 pounds overweight and shortening my lifespan by 20 years. Okay, now you're like, all right, you're, you're not giving an F to the fullest. <laughs> you got to calm the F down. And that's what people are saying that, like, the South Park is basically speaking against uh, people like Lizzo that are saying just like, Live your life and eat what you want. And they're comparing, like, Lizzo being on Ozempic, like, Lizzo being in treatment. Mm. I'm just body positive, but I'm five my 500-pound life. It's, I think me and you looked up um, the old uh, TV reality stars of, like, uh -huh. my 300-pound or 400-pound or my 500-pound life, all those, like, super huge people that had reality shows. And I think, like, all of them but one or two were dead. Remember we looked it up? True. And they all they all passed and away. And then I heard about the and dude. It had only been like 15 years since they were on TV. I think the dude that was on Super Size Me, I think he, he died. died too. He just died too, which is. That's weird though, but he only did that for like a month to film a documentary where he ate McDonald's every but day. But you see a lot of people like, meals. you see a lot of people like that. Like you see, if you go on uh, on YouTube oh, or anything. R.I.P. Bill Walton. He just died at like 71. R.I.P. Bill Walton. That's cancer. Our people are watching, but if you didn't know, like a lot of people are like doing that, like they're these mukbangs and everything, like they're doing these mukbangs and they're doing a whole bunch of videos and they're not working out. The only one I really see that's like eating a lot and working out is that big groove dude, that big, that big buff gorilla dude that be always dancing. Oh, yeah, he's on coming down below. Do we need TFTC lifting? Hey, start vlogging ourselves at the gym to make us get more good to make us go so we can have content for that channel. 
We try to go a couple times a week, man. But sometimes with all the channels, all the recording, all the editing, getting everything right. Sometimes it's hard to get there, you know, two, three times a week. Sometimes my co-host even goes without me. But uh, we're going to try to get better and let us know if you want TFTC lifting. All right. Well, but, okay, the question is, Gavin. Oh, my co-host you... will be doing <laughs> squats in the camera. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. All, right. all you did, letters, well, you'll have your content. Come, okay, I need, I need you to answer, answer this question, Coles. I need you to comment down below. When you get rich and famous, what you what parties you finna go to? You finna go to the Olympic parties, the uh, the what's called the life not the life but the Botox parties. Cause I heard like, that's big. You know what's weird is I didn't know how many women did Botox, especially see, nowadays. And like this is a little bit. You see how J, uh, J, how J Lo's trying to get Ben Affleck to do it? We talked about that last week. How uh, Ben Affleck, she uh, yeah, Ben Affleck got the did BBL. it. Dre got the BBO, the fake abs. Uh, Batman Cavo got that. I mean, it's, it's I, think, I thought I thought they're just pre sculpted. Nah, man. They said Moneybag Yo did it. So I mean, everybody. They say Moneybag Yo got liposuction. It's plastic surgery. Yeah. So I mean, look at that. I mean, um, hey, if you got the money and you're like, I could do tr- like two hours on the treadmill every day, or I could just have them stick a dime straw in my stomach and suck it all out. I mean, basically, that or you can do the whole Ozempic route or get the Lizzo. It's cheaper. Yeah. Because, I mean. Get the Lizzo. <laughs> yeah. No, if you get the Lizzo, you end up going down in health. Because that's what, I mean, that's what it has me thinking, like. It's I like mean, when you're poisoned in Pokemon and you slowly just start dying. True. And that's what it has me thinking, like. I used to think like, oh yeah, you know, people gonna lose weight. They can just diet. They can just diet, and you know, they just change their life. But it looks like oh, it's not working. And I like that the clip with us, like a fat boy and somebody else, and he's like, "Should be two season." And he's like, "Shit, do be two season. <laughs> Should be too good." <laughs> he's talking about food. <laughs> oh, oh, the uh, the T Grizzly and the uh, fat T boy Grizzly. Says, yeah, he's like, oh man, he's like, I be trying to lose weight, bro, but he's like, "Should be two <laughs> season." Talk about. I was like, shit, do be too season. <laughs> it do be too good. Carbon knows what's up. No, I mean, I understand. Like, fat, I mean, I caught myself. Fun- Chick fil A be hitting. Like, I just caught myself this past weekend on Sunday. I woke up like around 2 in the afternoon. I went to Taco Bell. Then after that, I chewed up my. had <laughs> the taco shits. Nah. Then after that, <laughs> later on that day, I had, um, I had Arby's. And then I was like, you got the meats. Then I was driving and I was like, dang, man, I'm hungry as hell. I've been craving fried chicken. And I pulled up the Popeyes for the, that and two the macaroni. Two piece and a biscuit? No, hell no. Nah, the the six piece wings. Uh, you come this the way, six, getting two piece. All right, we'll just get the six piece wings in the, the six piece wings, the Cajun rice with the mac and cheese, busting. I felt like a fat, but I went to the gym though. Did you get the Cajun corn? No, that's that's uh, I did that the day before at Wingstop. Man, I've been balling out with this food like crazy. It's crazy. You, you would have thought, hard. Right, I thought this man hit the lot. You thought I own those Olympic. That, that podcast money be hitting different. Nah, but comment down below. How do you feel about these celebrities and uh, people in general not working out, choosing to go the Olympic route, even though this is for I people feel like with they diabetes should do both. Or, but I also feel like people also some people have bad genetics. So I mean, like I some people like. I've seen people with where, where they like, uh, I don't mean, oh, you never know what's wrong with people, but like where sure. they actually are working out and exercising and they're, you know, they're making improvements, but it's very, very slow. Some of those people may, they may just need an extra nudge to get that snowball rolling. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, who knows? This is what we all wanted, right? We wanted technology where like, oh, I want to be able to take a pill and go be fast. Or I want to take a pill and be like super strong. I want to take, you know, a shot. And not have to, you know, you know, make it where you're never hungry. True. Because if you're never hungry, you never have that urge to eat. And you ain't going to be eating. Then you're not going to have them calories you got to worry about or try to work off. So it's it's a weird way. It's almost like a way to numb yourself. Uh, you're kind of like starving. A food your, depressant? S- yeah. It's like a appetite to, uh, suppressant. Yeah. And it's like, you know, so it's like, you're like, I'm never hungry, never hungry. You know, I think uh, for all the people that are chief keepers out there. Uh, that this would be great because when you're chief keeping all the time, you get the munchies. <laughs> True. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you ever like chief keep so much that your stomach gets small and you get full fast. You ever had that problem? I believe so. Allegedly. Once or twice. <laughs> Once or twice. 
<laughs> Horrible, man. Comment down below once again how you feel about this situation. But moving on. But speaking of someone else that has never been able to beat the munchies, we got my co-host's favorite artist, Sean Kingston. He's the island boy, the original island boy. He speaks like Chet Hanks. All right, but so I mean, like the like the detective said, man, it's amazing what you can get away with when you're a celebrity. Because if you didn't know, Sean Kingston has they're like a, Dumb and Dumber, where they just keep on writing. They found that briefcase with all the money, and they keep on using it and keep on writing IOUs until they used all the money. Basically, I mean, and Sean Kingston out here been finessing people, finessing drug dealers, finessing companies. Finesse people out of millions and millions of dollars. And, I mean, it looks like he's... Did he finesse two times? More than that. It looks like he's finally catching up on him. He even got his own mama arrested. And he got kidnapped. Exactly. I mean, if you didn't know here, man, we got a video right here of the lawyer basically speaking of the situation. Then we got my dog, Mama Kingston, getting free. Morning, Ms. Turner. Janice Turner facing a judge as she's locked up in Fort Lauderdale. Her son rapper, Kashawn Anderson, known as Sean Kingston to his fans, is sitting in jail across the country in Southern California, both arrested on fraud and theft charges. Sean and his mother deny any involvement in this, and we look forward to challenging their allegations in court. Attorney Bob Rosenblatt represents mother and son. Turner is facing eight counts of fraud. Roll out that, my cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, right? White carpet for the angel. Yeah, good day. Up in that town. Yeah, yeah. Please stop the carpet. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Yeah, good girl. One of them is a top top of them. Suffers, boy. When them know about the cash, that's when they know about squash. Good day. Watch this. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. I love you. I love you. Oh, my queen. Fuck out of boy. So look at I mean look at Sean Kingston's mom is out on bond. They uh her bond was uh hundred and sixty k, which is I mean ten percent of that. You know you only pay ten percent, which is sixteen k. She paid that. She got out of jail. But Sean Kingston, he's still in jail, still in California, still waiting to get um transported. Some of the haircut. I'm true. Just a way to get transported all the way to Florida, but it looks extradited to Florida. But it looks like here they're still waiting. And a lot of y'all wondering how's Sean Kingston making his money? How's he doing all the stuff he's doing? And I'm wondering the same thing. But if you didn't know, I mean, my dog out here is being the songwriter. He's been ch chilling with Chris Brown, the whole sensational song. He uh, he helped sensational co exactly helped co-write that song with Chris Brown. You know, that's like a big song. That's in uh, what at least top ten right now. Uh, also, I mean, he had the beautiful girl song back in the day. He had the eeny, meeny, miny, mo with Justin, Justin Beaver. But it looks, like, but it looks like yeah. I mean, he's just been doing a whole bunch of fraud stuff. I mean, it goes back to he was getting watches and jewelry, and also watches, chains, and jewelry. Uh, basically paying only the deposit, and then basically saying, you know, I'm gonna pay you back the rest. Cause I'm a celebrity. I know Justin Beaver. I know I'm all about family. Look at my lifestyle. Look where I live <laughs> at. I live next to the Rock and Tyreek Hill. So I'm not gonna steal from you. And then boom, he and that, he's stealing. Then he steals. He pays the deposit. And then he steals from you. He couldn't pay for his mom to have a better haircut. I mean, she, hey, I mean, when you get old, you get. She's sixty one. You, you know, you, don't, you don't always have your hair. Females go bald too. Yeah, but he could got her a unit. <laughs> horrible. I mean, hey, horrible. But I mean, looks like here, yeah, my dog Sean Kingston was just about to gear up for his hot summer night tour with TLC. Shaggy. Oh, he's gonna have some hot summer Shaggy. nights now. Exactly. In jail. Exactly. You know, it was a twenty city tour, but you, did you know that Sean Kingston is currently on a two year probation? So that's one thing that's holding in this up. I mean, he may violate probation with all this, uh, all these charges going on and all these charges of fraud, which is crazy. Because I mean, you would think that a, a rapper would actually that's not making hit music anymore would scale back, not want to get a two hundred and thirty two inch flat screen TV, not want to get a, a new Cadillac Escalade, one hundred fifty thousand dollar TV. Exactly. That is crazy, man. Because at, at a certain point. I mean, at like five grand, you could get like five, ten grand. You could get a top of the line projector that would be better than and make it any size you want, rather than just getting a 
<laughs> Giant CV. True. Like, what are you doing? I mean, true, but I mean. <laughs> Exactly. That's and that's the crazy part is they brought all those people there. Majority of those people were there was there just to take all their stuff back. So basically, he got repoed. He got repoed. He owed so many creditors so much money, and he was lying about it that they uh they basically opened up an investigate. Once they did the open up, once they did the civil suit, they opened up an investigation about it. And they've been doing this a lot lately. Like you see him, like with the whole P Diddy thing, or how it was a civil suit at first, and then and then I was trying to turn the criminal. They did the same thing with Sean Kingston. Sean, first it was Sean Kingston being civil. He was the people that were suing him was the people for the just all the TV and on top of the people that was uh, basically he uh, got the watches from. He was writing bounce checks to. They sued him civil suit, but then that's when the police looked into it. It was like, oh yeah, this is some fraud type stuff because you know his mom was already in trouble for fraud and. I mean, it looks like he's... He, he kept on doing it over and over. He kept doing it over and over again. He's a habitual fraudster. I mean, he out here frying a lean man. Out here... That's crazy. Can a lean man turn that in? Nah, a lean man... That's an L. That's a big L. The man is taking an L. And then on top of that, the house he's living at is rented. So he's basically like... He's basically like putting on his whole fake or something. Like he still got it when he don't got it. What's crazy is you see uh, so many celebrities when they get in trouble financially and then be like... Oh, they're gonna get their stuff repossessed, and they're like, "You mean kicked out? They were renting everything, basically. It's the whole like, thing's rented, man. And it, it's, I mean, it's, that's how you can trick everybody. Like that's what they say. Like on Instagram, people want to believe what you can see. All you gotta do is pay, post a picture if you've been a motivational speaker in front of a Lamborghini. And you make only you can be here too, and then everybody believe that that's your Lamborghini. That's what we gotta do, Coast. We gotta get you to take a pictures and from. Uh, I would never be those two. I would never be that type And of then dude. you gotta sell like a lifestyle plan. Nah, cause my, my my worst nightmare fear is what if I'm recording a video and I'm on live? I'm sitting next to a Camaro. Or well, some... you wouldn't do it on live. You would just record the video, and then if it went, if no one came out. <laughs> keep it straight it. And then if somebody came out Then just, just Delete walk. the video it's, not, right. it's that easy Nah you just turn around Hey can I, can I use your car uh, what do you, Or be like Oh I'm one of those uh, YouTubers that say What do you do for a living <laughs> How did you get This car <laughs> And then sit in this car And take a whole bunch of videos in it A whole bunch of pictures And everything in it Like this is my Lambo Yeah it was like It's for TikTok but I mean, hey, that's I mean that's what Sean Kingston did. Sean Kingston signed with his business company to start basically getting his private jet. He uh, he signed on with them. He told the people that, oh yeah, you know I'm Sean Kingston. I can't ride in no regular jet. I need you to upgrade this, upgrade that. You wanted the Diddy jet. You know, do all that. Go, the extra go bounce. You know, go big and go all and go all out. And they they did all the changes for him. They said, okay, once we do all the changes, you gonna have three days to basically pay this off. He uh, he didn't pay. He ghosted basically ghosted them. All he did was just use them to take pictures. He hopped on the plane, never flew it, took a whole bunch of pictures, posted it up online, and ghosted everybody. And it looks like that's what Sean Kingston's doing. He's uh, basically paying things and ghosting them. And I mean, nice get to pay up. Comment down below: Is Sean Kingston the OG Island Boy? And do you still Did you see uh, the island, one of the island boys got arrested for uh, kissing his his no, brother too hard, driving intoxicated. Sounds about island boy. And then I think another then a couple of weeks ago, the other island boy almost got in a fight with Sauce Walker at the uh, at the jewelry store. Oh yeah, store. he told Sauce Walker, "Run me your chains." Sauce Walker's Sauce Walker like, "Stop playing!" He's like, he's like "I'm not playing with you." He ain't playing. And then he them. took Sauce Walker's chains. You don't, you don't want them problems. I'm, want... I'm just kidding. But do you? Who do you? Sauce Walker with? would have spanked him. Who do you blame for? Do you blame companies for this, or do you blame Sean Kingston? Sean Kingston, because I mean, wait, think it about is it. Island boy behavior. Think about it. I mean, because it's the company's fault. Like, why are you believing that? Oh yeah, you know, he gonna give me this commercial with Justin Bieber. He gonna put our business on. Like, nah, you and nothing in life is. But easy. I know what Sean Kingston's not gonna do. What? He's not gonna put our business on. <laughs> <laughs> you a hater. But we need to talk about another podcast, a competing podcast. Going through some rough times. It mm-hmm. looks like Adam Twenty Two don't know what to do as he cancels a new show and all current weekly podcasts that were recurring. That he's starting from the ground up. The only thing he's keeping is the interviews, the one on one or with him and uh, a few people. But he don't know who's staying, who's going. No jumper canceled. Or how soon are they re- uh, rebooting? What's going on? What are your thoughts? I mean, he already spoke about it. I mean. A lot of people are saying, like, this is all happening because of the whole Dijon part, the Dijon situation. Dijon Mustard. Dijon, he uh, allegedly got shot at. 
allegedly, I mean, he's playing, he's alluding to it that he did, but people saying he didn't. Some people are saying, like, it's one of the junkie security guards that work at No Jumper. That's what's going on. But nobody's really came out and said that was the situation. Other people were saying that, you know, DW Flame, his show is trash, sharp. He, I mean, if he I mean, what happened? Sharp's uh, chant or his show was actually getting uh, more not, views than anything else on the channel. He was actually the number one uh, view getter on No Jumper for a, a period of time, but I know that was probably like a year. I mean, year after or a so while, ago. you get tired of him yelling. I mean, you get tired of him yelling at girls. No, I mean, or dudes. the thing was that. It was only good when he was yelling at him, and then it was eventually to the point where he kept putting people on that he didn't like. He wasn't yelling at, so he'd be like, "Okay, so if you put out five episodes before he yelled at all five, but then after a while he put on like five episodes, he had yell at two of them. He'd be like, well, I already watched three of them, and he was already perfectly fine, so I really don't really care." It's so, like we don't care unless you're yelling. And then on top of that, it was uh the the damn homie girl. Like he ended up talking to this girl named Damn Homie. Who like she does a whole bunch of skits on Instagram and everything. End up going out with her. End up being exposed for being a simp. So it's a lot of things going on. But we got Adam Twenty Two explaining what he's finna do, and then I'm gonna come back and let you know what's gonna happen next. So I have a pretty huge announcement. I'm making some very big changes in terms of No Jumper. As of today, No Jumper News. It's over. The Monday show, the Wednesday show, and the Thursday show also are over. I've decided that I really want to focus No Jumper. So I will be continuing to do the Tuesday show with Lush and Brick Baby. I will continue to do as many interviews as possible. I'm going to have other people on the platform continuing to do interviews. Everybody from, you know, Almighty, Sharp, Brick. I just talked to all these guys. Flacco. This decision has really been brought on, yeah, I guess, as a business decision. I've been talking to my business manager a lot over the course of the past few weeks, taking a real deep dive into how the channel is doing, how much content we're creating, and taking a look at like what the true cost of creating stuff like the news is, and have basically just come to the conclusion that it makes more sense. To let me thing. tell you. Let me tell you why it makes sense. Mm. The overhead of what you have to pay talent versus the views that are coming in. It probably didn't make sense. For sure. So that's it's especially a, when you got five people sitting down at a time. A business move, cause like let's say, let's say like I'm not in nobody's pockets, but let's just say on the low end, they was getting like sixty a, a year or something like that. And you're paying that to multiple people. And them episodes is probably making what? Two, three hundred dollars an episode? It don't pan out. Exactly. I mean, it don't pan out. Um, I understand where he's coming from, where he's saying, like, you only get like, two, three. rings in the dumpster if they were only putting out videos that were making that much. Uh, I mean, you, you, th you see the views every every episode. I didn't think his views, their views were that low. I thought they were still getting in, like, because they used to get, like, all their videos were getting hundreds of thousands. Are they not even breaking 100,000 anymore? Not all of them. I mean, the Brick Baby show not breaking oh, hundreds of thousands. I wonder if he means, like, the profit after you pay everyone, you're only making, like, a couple hundred dollars an episode. I mean, that might be true, especially if you're having, like, five people on. That makes more sense. I mean, the DFW flame thing, I mean, I don't think they was making that, he wasn't making that much money on there either, so. That's like me and my co we don't want to pay nobody. That's why we do all of our thumbnails <laughs> and everything ourselves. All the shorts. All the Instagrams. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, that's what we do with all our stuff. Cause I mean, you have to start paying a whole bunch of people. Uh, I mean, if you see, think about it. I mean, that is a lot of people. We got uh, DFW Flame on there. He got Poetic Flaco. But it looks like he's going back to the old fashioned. We'll know. We'll know. We'll make it. We made it, Coast. When we're able to have like one employee that's just like a secretary that just lines stuff out for us. Go get my cheesecake. But go get my. That'd be You're crazy. already on the Diddy path. We can I guess we can never have an assistant. Nah, but I mean, it looks like yeah, he's going back to his old ways. He said he he going back to the Tuesday show, and then after the Tuesday show, he gonna do like the listen to music situation. And on top of that, you know, the thing with like a whole bunch of uh, shows like Rap Radar, they were like having people come on and do a freestyle. He's doing that at this shop, so he, you know he's doing that. Oh yeah, I saw that he had a DQ from the O. Mm -hmm. Come and do a freestyle Almost like uh, From the block They're doing yeah. like From the block freestyles now Cause I saw that And I was like When did No Jumper Start doing like Those freestyle type videos That's what new, That's his new thing He's gonna start doing now I guess, I guess He's gonna start doing this Why Tales from the up. Crib Start doing freestyle videos Basically You don't hear my co-host On the mic Facts But I mean basically What he's trying to do Is like basically do this Why he thinks The other shows to work on Cause I mean Think about it Like he has I think he's probably Like laying off Half the crew 
He is. I mean, he already. I mean, not really laying off half the crew. I mean, he he's still gonna kick like the big name, keep the big names like Brick Baby. Sharp is gonna be there. Sharp, I mean, Sharp is even gonna be there, but they're not gonna Real. have their own show. They're gonna basically do like interviews, like you know how that dude that be on the uh, Chicago interviews that you care for. Isn't that the same? I think so. Yeah, Rio. So he have him be on the Rio thing is like uh, as a sidekick, or like when he does a Tuesday show, he'll be a guest. But I don't understand why he brought back Lush, because Lush be trying the hell out of him. Let's be going internet trolling them. He said, he said, oh yeah, let's Lush rat. Like I don't a, trust you. Lush should have been uh, the actor that they got for Penguin instead of uh, <laughs> what's that dude's name? Uh, Who? Colin Farrell. Instead of Colin Farrell, should have been Lush. Oh, horrible. I, I can see it. I can see it because he do waddle like Lush. Like a penguin? He do water like the penguin. But, I mean, this, this just doesn't make so sense. So, is it no longer the coolest podcast in the world? Is that Tales from the Crib? I mean, you Tales see what, from the Crib is now the coolest You see what he's trying to say? World. Like, he said he's one of, he wants to be like Say Cheese and DJ Vlad and DJ Vlad. I mean, there are, I would consider them all on the same level. They all get similar views. They don't, but I mean, they don't do the same thing. But like if it, you're watching on TFTC Clips, then you're lame because you're late. You need to go over to Tales from the Crib to make sure you're getting full 1080p and getting a full podcast first. Before it gets chopped up and put on TFTC clips. So make sure you're clicking Tales from the Crib, hitting like, comment, and subscribe. But I mean, it's not, it's not the same because you remember DJ Vlad and them, they only do like one person. They well, it's do- like just DJ Vlad, and now he has like two, maybe up to three now interviewers. Yeah, I mean, so I mean that's not really that many people. But he, but he doesn't do shows like he doesn't have like the other shows like. No oh no no, he just does interviews only. Yeah, he, he just only does he interviews only. He does not only. care about trying to make shows. And then say cheese, he just does interviews only. He doesn't really care about all the other stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, because it's like sometimes you got to realize like if you're like a reporter or a commentary like person like people are tuning in to see like your opinion on what you're talking about. They're not just like tuning in just to see you. I mean, eventually you might get to a point where you have fans like that, but. On your, gotta, on, your, on, your, on your way up, you're not going to have fans like that. They're going to be like, what's your opinion on X topic? That's what we want to know. We don't want to hear about your day. I mean, that's what you, that's what, but that's the thing. That's what you got to do. You got to make them more. Like, DJ, the like DJ Academics, like, you know, people care about how DJ Academics they is. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They roast him in the comments. But They're it's, not nice to him. They're uh, mean <laughs> friends. They care if you got beat up or something like that. If they got ran down on Oh, yeah. So even they care he does about have that. a super fan. It's like Grand Wizard got to uh, a whole height of popularity just from being like a- academics number one chat dude. See, which is pretty crazy for him to get like secondary famous off of just being like a big academic supporter. Who? Grand Wizard. Like his Instagram oh, yeah. is like huge, and he even has his own following. And he's mm-hmm. just like it was the OG academic super fan. Basically, so we, you know, you have to build up when you. I guess like the thing I was with thing that you I could realized, do, you could be the OG Chico super fan. I'll approve this message. You don't even post enough of that. <laughs> you gotta write me back. You gotta be like Chico, where you at? I'll be like I'm right here. Yeah, right. I'm alive. I, I post on Twitter all the time. But speaking of no jumper, forget no jumper because it's all about tales from the crib, baby. I don't give a f about no jumper. Adam twenty two. It's time to get thrown on the couch. It's time for the mother effing couch announcements. What you got, Cole? Welcome to the halftime show of Tales from the Crib. We'll let you know what's going on, what's new with the channel, and what you can expect. We got this channel, Tales from the Crib. We got TFTC clips. We clip out the show and give you your favorite parts of the week if you don't have the time to watch our whole podcast. We got TFTC Gaming. Shout out TFTC Gaming. Get more views. My co-host is doing wrestling UFC. I got to upload a Star Wars video. I have one ready to go. I just gotta oh, make man. a thumbnail And I gotta play some more 2K and other games So more TFTC gaming coming your way But we do need to talk about our number one child Our number one money maker Who we got? The stepchild that showed up We got Crib Reactions Sketch Crib Reactions to 10K subs We dropped a, bunny, a bunch Ooh, of videos 24K, god damn um, Yeah, we dropped what? Six videos this past week so shout out for all of you. Shout out for checking out our XG is back. They just dropped their hit single, Woke Up. I think they got 6 million views. And it's definitely rubbing off because we got 24, 24,000 views on that video. With like over a 1,000 likes and a whole bunch of comments. Yeah, do that again, Cole. So jump down in the comment section down there and do it. Yeah, we're going to have some more XG content. So if you're a huge uh, rap fan, a girl group fan, check out XG. We got a rock on. 
with uh, Baby Metal. They did a few other artists. They collabed with Body Slam and F Hero. That got like 4K views. We got Ooh. XG Live Clip. That got 5K views. We got that Million Dollar Baby, which actually has 1.2K views. I'm surprised. People are liking that. And uh, it's funny. Me and you both had a, a brain fart. We forgot what shotgunning a beer was called. And the guy's like, do y'all even party? I haven't replied yet. but I'm like, in the beer. I know, but we forgot in that video. We were talking oh. about shotgunning a beer, and we couldn't remember <laughs> shotgun. We were like, shoot beer. <laughs> but it happens. Everyone has ba- uh, brain farts, especially when you're chief keeping or drinking Twisted Tea, allegedly. Facts. Anyway, check out all of our videos. Get that uh, video, XG video to 25K views. Give us some love over there. You can super thanks on all of our channels, but gaming. So you got to subscribe there to get our last channel monetized. We're three out of four. Let's get all of our channels monetized on the TFTC networks. And follow Seth. We're going to make some inspirational videos. Real good underscore Doty eventually. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and jump back into it. We need to talk about the team, the man, the greatest backcourt that ever existed. Seven Luca play. the Don. And Kyrie Irving are one win away, baby, from going to the NBA Finals. Uh, we are recording this after the Pacers and Celtics have played a game. No Tyrese Halliburton in game four. And the uh, Boston Celtics with MVP. Uh, who won it? Uh, Jalen Brown. Yep. Won it over Jason Tatum. And they will be going to the Finals. Look like they're playing Dallas most likely because no one's ever came back from a 3-0 ever in NBA history. And Dallas is up 3-0. So hopefully... They could sweep them this next game, um, probably a few hours after this episode's premiere, and uh, Dallas could be on their way to the finals. Nah, I don't think it's not gonna happen. I still got faith. In, I got still got faith in. Anthony. You got faith in the T Wolves are gonna yes. be the first team in 165 LeBron did tries. It. No, he came back from a three-one, and he wasn't the first game? team to do that. There's What's like five game? teams that ever do we that. Never did in the finals. Coming from in the 3-0, finals. Oh, that's the fi- What? He's the first, first one to do it in the finals. Yeah, but he's like one of five teams to ever do it in the playoffs. But not in the finals. This isn't the finals. It's the, this is the, the conference, conference finals. finals. It's a different type of finals. It's, 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 like I said, man, I got faith in the Timberwolves, you man. They go, they go. Like our our uh, NFL sports. But what? What are we betting? Uh, frozen margarita. That what? And uh, that Dallas wins the series. The Dallas wins. That's already over with. You don't need to Where's your confidence? This. What's the common this little pub? We already know, man. Let me see you roar. We can do it in the next Let game. Let me see you roar. How about this game right here? We can bet on this game. We're betting on I the I bet you that Dallas don't close out right now. This game. Margarita. That Dude. Dallas doesn't win game the game four. Oh, Kyrie is actually. Yeah, let's add to a margarita and a um, quesadilla. Then what? That y'all going to win game four? We're sweeping. Y'all sweeping? Sweeping. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, he's sweeping, baby. Yeah, not sweeping. Yeah, not sweeping. Because what you don't know, Coast, is also Kyrie is thirteen and zero in closeout games when he has when he's in the team in the lead and has the uh, ability to close out the other team. He is thirteen and zero. This will make it fourteen and zero. Dallas Mavericks going to sweep, 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 and then it's time to bust Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Al Bumface, Potato Head, Horford. Um, what's his name? Uh, Drew Holiday. Too small for Luca Holiday. And uh, Derek uh, finally shaved his head white, who is the real Mr. Potato Head. So I hate all teams from Boston. I hate you. I hate Tom Brady. I hate the Boston Bruins. I hate the Red Sox. And this is going to finally give Luka to the Super mm-hmm. Super Bowl NBA championship title nah. over Jason Tatum. Not going to happen. He's going to put... Wevo's on forehead. Not He's dunking happen. on Jason Tatum. Nah, I mean, I told, like I told you already, they only played two times this season, and the Celtics whooped them twice. Uh, both well, times they had, both times they had Kyrie and Luka. No, they didn't have them the first time. They had and them the, the first time, time in January. Was at, they had them. And that was before the trade. So that, exactly, count. they didn't have PJ Washington and uh, Gafford. But the second time they had Gafford, and they, that's when they got whooped by twenty. Every team's allowed to have an off game. Oh, whatever. They we got the got momentum. 20. Nah, yeah, they got the no momentum. They just, won under, they, just, they just swept them. What? Uh, well, so what if we both sweep? They're not going to sweep. The NBA's going to try to rig it. They've been trying to rig the last two games for the Wolves. Man, listen, the, last, the last the last The refs have been absolutely the horrible. The last game, the Trying refs, to give Anthony Edwards all the help in the world. That's a, y'all shot 30. Anthony yes. Edwards was on Mori. Y'all shot 31 free throws last game. Michael Jordan, you are not the father. 
That's you are your... not the father, Michael Jordan. You are not the father. Jordan got swept. And when he first went to the playoffs, he got swept. He never he, got swept in the conference finals. He got swept by uh, he got swept by Larry Bird, and he got gentlemen. He got gentlemen swept once, and he got swept three times in in the uh, champ in the playoffs. What are you talking about? He never got swept. Re- he never got swept in the in in the uh, finals. Oh Lord, here you go. Six and zero, oh, baby. Here you go. Six and oh. always moving the goalposts. The goalposts is mean, not moved. So like I said, man, the only reason goal Boston won that was because Indiana Pacers basically collapsed. The high, the the, the, the point guy wasn't well, the, there. The Pacers shouldn't have been in there. They every team that they uh, they faced was injured. Same thing for the Celtics. So the Celtics really haven't been tested this whole run to get to the NBA Finals. So I think them actually playing a good team for the first time in the whole playoffs mm-hmm. is actually going to be shocking to them because the East is so weak and the teams that they have faced missing one or two of their best players at each each every single first, second, and third round in the conference finals. I mean, it's been a literally a cape, uh, cupcake a walk for Boston. And even Indiana had a cupcake walk, barely beating the New York Knicks that were missing like five key rotation players. Oh, no yes. team is yeah. winning missing like five out of their best seven players. No team is coming back from that. So the, the Pacers shouldn't even have been there. Uh, Boston has got the easiest run to the finals in NBA history, and I think that uh, the that's uh, mess them up. No, I mean I think that's going to mess them up. They're not going to be used to playing at a high level, that high level to win, and it's going to be Kyrie getting his ultimate revenge, knock on wood, on the Boston Celtics for um, you know them betraying him, and then Porzingis is also going to get dunked on by Luca if he chooses to play, or he might sit out like a punk. I mean, even if it, I mean, nah, I think it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a real Horford good game. It's Al just it, as good as defense as Rudy Gobert. Al Horford is Al going to play. Shuts, he shuts gonna, down lively. He's, they're going to they're gonna do the drop coverage. And he Luka shuts down and, lively. And Kyrie doesn't average, heat. He doesn't average a lot against Al Horford for some strange reason. He's only had uh, two, two games, games against, against him. him. There's nothing. He's a different player since then. Hopefully he, he just can. Paid in, hopefully just paid he, in May. Hopefully he can heal. Hopefully he can heal. <laughs> because he got judo oh, kicked Lord. by Carl Anthony Towns, but so supposedly Maxi Kleba uh, from Dallas is coming back. So that'll be a big. So lift who you? So who y'all got? Play. So y'all finna stop. Y'all, y'all finna stop. Tatum who's, who's guarding Luca? Tatum or uh, JB? They're gonna put that much effort in. You saw what it did. Luca An- slow. You saw what it did to Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards can start Kyrie Irving. That's that's a different person. He wants to go on Luca. He can go Kyrie so you, Irving. You think Brown has enough weight? Yes, Brown has t- just tall. No, he Luca's just, like six nine. Brown's six seven. Six, 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 six No, he's like smaller than that. He's like six five. He's like still he's not no six five. He's like six seven, six eight. No. Yes. No, he's not. He's like that six big. seven eight with long arms and with the long arms they give him like six nine. Everybody Luca's looks, gonna bully him. He, you think Luca doesn't not gonna bully him? Yep. And then you're gonna have to have they're gonna have to try to put Derek White or Drew Holiday on Luca because they don't want them to uh, use that much That's energy. A, and Luca has put up like 40 points a game when he plays Drew Holiday. He absolutely torches Drew Holiday. And then you're gonna have Derek Drew Holiday White. is gonna stick uh, Kyrie Irving. He's gonna lock him down because he's def- he's number one defensive team. He's gonna lock Kyrie Irving. Yes, he does. He will lock Kyrie Irving down. No, he won't. Yes, he would. He's gonna, he's he's gonna, gonna take and, him to the, and Holiday doesn't even have to Kyrie, worry about scoring. Kyrie schools anyone that's around his same height. He only has problems with people that are way bigger. And even then, he was still scoring on Anthony Edwards, who's bigger than him. So if you put someone Anthony that's Edwards around, wasn't on the number one. He's rated. No, actually, the Minnesota Timberwolves are the number one rated defense no, but in the single, league. It, that's a team as an individual player because they like to play iso ball. Uh, court what's it called? Uh, Holiday was on number one team, and on top of that, the other, the other, the shooting guard. So Rudy Gobert and McDaniel's were on the first team, and you see Rudy what, Gobert sucks at isolation. Everybody well, says that. What he about Jaden McDaniel's? Jaden McDaniel's is, he's decent. His first team, he's decent, and he's getting cooked. What you talking about? Lucas cooking him. We're not talking about it's him. So We're talking about Kyrie Irving. Yeah, he's cooking him too. No, he's he, not. He's he not just, cooking Drew Holiday. He's cooking him. He's not cooking him. He's cooking. He's not cooking. I'm telling you, this game is going to be completely different. We going to see what's going on. This if Maxi comes back and Lively comes back, especially because uh, they'll have a break. Because even if both teams sweep, they don't start the series wide, right away. They give them a break, like a week break to go to the finals uh, before the finals start. 
that'll be great for Lucas' knees. That'll give Derek time to, to, to get back to health, and hopefully by then Maxi will be back. So we will be back at 100% strength and actually have three solid bigs um, at the Dallas's disposal. So you think so if, if Przingis gets played, y'all got, you got a good chance? What, if Przingis plays? Yeah. I think that Luka is going to pull <laughs> Przingis out and is going to make him switch and make Przingis guard him, and I'm pretty sure Luka has torched Przingis in practice over and over again, and he's going to make him dance just like Rudy did. Okay. I mean, if you say so. He made Rudy dance. That, I mean, everybody knew that was going to happen. Even Jay, even, even McDaniel said as soon as he saw that happen, so, he was like, Oh, man. Exactly. What's funny is I saw a crowd video from Minnesota where they were recording Luka's game winner, and they're like, no, why did you switch? And he <laughs> haven't even shot it yet. It was, I mean, it was an embarrassing game. I mean, it looks like here – the Timberwolves is just an inexperience. It's finally showing. I don't know I, what's going on. Big Cat act like he just little, little cat. cat. He just want to shoot the ball all the time. He's like 13%. I mean, he went from like oh, almost shooting 40% in the last game. He was shooting in the high 40s from three-pointer. Now he's shooting in like the in the like 20 percentile range. Uh, he's really falling off, but he's, he's like, I'm going to keep shooting because I can make him when I practice. I'm so, just, please keep shooting them if you're going to keep uh, uh, missing them. And Anthony Edwards, man, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, he's super young. He's, what, like 22? Yeah. 22, 23 years old, something like that. And it's like he's so tired. He was so tired that they said that he had to get oxygen on the sideline last game. And it's like, what are you doing where you're that young and getting that tired? You he's should chasing have, Kyrie around. You should have, no, they even took him off Kyrie last game because did not make him so tired. And he still needed oxygen. So it's like, why are you so tired, dude? Like you're a young player. You, even though you've never played this far before, you shouldn't be that tired. Like that's concerning. How many he's young players are you thinking? Hey, look Luka. at Jimmy. Look at Jimmy Butler. Remember Jimmy Butler was Luka's dying. playing on no knees. Luke was like twenty. First Twenty-five. Off, first off, Luca is. First off, he gives the ball to Kyrie, and for the past two two games, he's been sitting. He sat on. He sat down for twenty-one minutes one game. Then the other game, he set up like 17 minutes. It's not his fault that Jaden Hardy's balling. It's the whole team is balling. All you got ant, ant is Ant. That's all you got is Ant. Ain't nobody else creating shots but Ant. And, Mike uh, Conley's Michael trying. Conley. Mike Conley's trying if he's not in foul trouble. It's because he but can't I feel guard like Luka The ref is out here cheating. It's a lot of foul, foul calls that you just let it slide. You, even the last game, what? No, they said that, and there was like five times where what they called talking? out of bounds. And it clearly wasn't out of bounds. They call random travels. The ref said everything in their power shot, to keep Minnesota shot 31 in the games. Throw shots today, seventeen. I'm talking about t- calls and, in total. And team, okay. And if you do, if you do not team, free throws, calls okay, in total. So if you do, they team, made a bunch of BS calls. If you do team free throw, if you do team total, if you do team t- uh, fouls, y'all have more. They have more team fouls than y'all. We should have got even more. Exactly horrible. Because, so you think half no, they were because uh, they were definitely fouled that much. The lies. Rudy Gobert should have fouled out by like halftime. Jaden McDaniel should have fouled out by like third quarter. It's just ridiculous. It and it was crazy how many times that Minnesota got to the free throw line when they went to the hoop, but Dallas would get like slammed at the rim, and it's just a turnover and the ball going the other way. It was. I feel like the refs were really helping Minnesota all the past two games. You and shot Dallas, thirty-one free throws. Dallas How are they had to beat you Minnesota shot 31 and the throws. refs. Dallas was basically playing eight. You if should, you count the three refs. How do you count the three refs? You shot thirty-one free throws today. Seventeen. You shot so double. Lucas should get double compliments. Because he's beating Minnesota and the refs. How is he getting? Because the refs are trying to cheat for Anthony Edwards, even though he's not Michael Jordan's son. Well, he, well, he got they got less free throws. So how is he cheat? That doesn't make any no, sense. No, the games before. The, the Wolves got the, more. The, the, <laughs> the Wolves didn't get more the last two games. No, just the last game. The last game, <laughs> horrible. The, the, if you watch the game, you see that you Minnesota the got way more calls. The, the stats don't if even say that. you watch the game with your eyes <laughs> and you look at every call, because some people are just stat sheet readers, but they don't watch things with their eyes or their brain. <laughs> Luke, oh, Dallas Lord. still got way more oh, calls. Oh, just like the old. Oh, you mean you mean you mean the uh, game two when McDaniel when had, had the ball and Kyrie came and slapped the ball in it. Oh, and it was like, oh yeah, no, no. Even though it is a foul, you can't look at the foul because the ball went out of bounds. So you only can look. Well, at he the didn't ball. challenge that there was a foul. He challenged it on you who it went off last. You can't. You it can't, went off of McDaniel's you last. Can't challenge. That's the end of discussion. That's what they said. You can't. But they said when it goes out of bounds, you can't challenge that automatically. Well, no, 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 the rules say you can't challenge it. 
You can challenge. The rules say you, you, no, can't you can challenge. challenge if there's a foul. You know, if or it, you can, if you check, but they're saying when you challenge to see who's it out of bounds on that they can't assess a foul to someone because no. you're just challenging. Uh, he who picked, it went out he of didn't last. have a choice. He because he, he wouldn't challenge against his he, own he player did. foul. He, he know because Kyrie Irving was going to get the foul call. No, but I'm saying Jason Kidd would. He's Jason only Kidd cha- didn't call for the foul. Jason Kidd didn't challenge the ball. The, 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 the Timberwolves challenged the ball. No, it's just he did. The Timberwolves lost a challenge. They because this because he said, "Oh, it was out on Kyrie." Does like no? He said, "No, it was out no, on you." No, they, no, no. Dallas challenged. Dallas didn't challenge. Yes, oh, they did. Dallas, I'm 100 percent certain. Well, Dallas challenged it. And yes, they won the they, challenge. They saw it went out of bounds, and it was a foul. But Dallas challenged who it went out of last. And since even though in the replay you could see that there was a foul, that's not what they're questioning. They're only questioning who it went off last. But you can't. So, the but rule, the other team didn't have a challenge. The team, uh, but you can't. Cha- if there's no foul called, then you can't challenge for a foul. So even if the Timberwolves did have a foul, they can't challenge that. But Dallas is only challenging who it went off of last. They couldn't challenge when, who. It and when cha- they reviewed it, it went off of McDaniel's. So it's Dallas ball. Yeah, but they couldn't challenge the fact that even if it was the fact that it went out of bounds, they couldn't because there was no call made. You can you can't challenge a call not made. It's it's just no no it's just no it's just like the call that happened to play before that when it was um what was it, it was an out of bounds call and they ended up calling it on it like, oh yeah it was out of bounds but he fouled him so we finna give him the foul the timber was the foul depends on who's challenging and what they're See, challenging. Look at that. The rules. You got to know the rules. See, horrible. You got to know the they rules. They cheated the rules. The refs, like, gotta, once again, yeah, sometimes you they gotta, cheat in the Timberwolves. Sometimes you got to have it here, and sometimes you got to have it here. They're cheating the Timberwolves. It's rookie mistakes. Horrible. You'll get it one day. Whatever. It's, it's rookie mistakes. Comment down below if y'all feel like the Kyrie's NBA Kyrie's trying cheating. to get ring number two and go on his ultimate journey of uh, not getting gonna, his revenge. Speaking again. And Luka's going to prove that he's better than Jason Tatum in every facet. He's not better than Jason Tatum. He's going to show him. He's not. He's going to show him. He's going to – what are we going to do? Score the most points? Well, how are you going to show him the best? He's going to show him by getting the MVP and the chip. So what if it, what if Jason Tatum get MVP and the chip? Then you can never then say Then it's rigged. Him. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you can't trust a Dallas back for Fran because it's rig up everything. But comment down below who your team is, Of course, someone has some bias. Exactly. Speaking of bias, it looks like here – uh, Draymond Green is tired of it. He went on a uh, Shaq podcast and called out Stephen S. Smith and saying that it was unfair to me with the whole situation where he uh, oh, got he, suspended. He didn't like that basically everyone was questioning his mental health because he's physical on the court. And he's like, I'm fine as a person. I've never had one incident in life where I'm not fine as a person. Facts. He goes, I just had a couple plays where they thought I was doing too much on the basketball court, but that has nothing to do with me as a person. Like, people saying that I need help, like, I need therapy, like, I'm, I'm a menace to society, and that's not the case. And he said Stephen A. called him, which is a respectable thing, but he didn't like how he went, like, that level, like he just said, instead of just being, like, he lets his emotions get the best of him, saying, like, oh, he needs a therapist and all that. So I could understand that, but, you know, Draymond does do too much. He literally got Rudy Gobert in a headlock. <laughs> and that's why I got suspended like 16, 17 games. And then uh, what's funny is like I saw someone take screenshots and mm-hmm. they're like, every time that the Wolves lose in the playoffs, look at Draymond Green. And it shows him like this whole series with Dallas where he's just like cheesing every game. And they showed him like uh, right after uh, Luka hit that step back on uh, Gobert for the win that Draymond was just cheesing so hard that he hates Rudy Gobert that much. And even when mm-hmm. Daniel Gafford came to TNT for their after interview, he was giving Gafford advice on like, hey, on certain plays, do this and do that, oh, and, and, and yes, you'll be that. better off. Horrible. So he really hates Rudy with a passion. But let's see what he was saying on uh, Shaq's, uh, what is this, the big podcast? Yes. Stephen A. Smith really pissed me off. And the reason he pissed me off was because he hit me. He's like, yo, it's been hard for a lot of us to talk about you these last few few days. You know, for me, I'm like, Okay. It's been hard for me to watch, but I'm watching it because I want to see everything that everybody has to say. But the thing that pissed me off is you tell me it's been hard for y'all to talk about me. Stephen, anytime I meet someone and they say something about you, it's never like, yo, I like him. He cool. It's always like, man, that dude, he a character, he's this, he's that. And I always say back, I actually know the guy. The guy is actually a cool dude. You can take what you want from the TV screen. I actually know the guy. He's a cool dude and a real dude. And then you get the opportunity to talk about me. And listen, I know you got a job to do. I know you got to do your thing and say what you got to say. But at not one point did you say, well, y'all are saying this person is 
fucked up and this person need help. Now, I know the person. Say what you want about the basketball player, that's fine. But I know the person. But to sit back and see those that claim to know and appreciate me as a human being just flow with the narrative because it was easy to do. I lost a lot of respect for a lot of people. Uh, you know, being a black man and not wanting to give credence, I mean, I, I heard, I, we all heard that piece right there. So what I'm assuming what triggered him was you saying that he was out of control, but I think you were referring to just the incidents on the court where he was continuing to get the ejections, correct? Not just that. He also told the league office he felt like he needed to get himself together, that he wasn't right. I know this because You're as I tried to, to educate suspension. folks weeks ago when you had Steven Jackson calling me a snitch because I called up the league office about, about Russell Westbrook. I didn't call them to suspend Russell Westbrook. I called because we had NBA countdown in an hour. The Clippers game was our game. Russell Westbrook hadn't been suspended, and I was asked to find out what were the details behind the decision. That's my job. We're on first take. We have about 12 to 15 segments a day, about 70, 75 takes a week. Yeah. I give over 3,000 takes a year on this show alone. I've given over 40,000 takes throughout my career. Give a lot of takes. You would think I'm not going to make everybody happy with every single syllable that Did comes out of my mouth, but I pride myself on being fair. I pride myself on being a human being. I know that Draymond Green has four beautiful kids. I know that he has a lovely wife. I know that his mom is wonderful. I know that his inner circle is everything. I know that. What's funny is that uh, they were talking about him, and his kid was like, Daddy, what do, I, what do you, does it say? I saw this YouTube video where it says Draymond Green needs help. <laughs> He's like, I didn't like that. He's like, my kids are wondering about my mental, my mental health. I mean, but I, I mean, I... These NBA players are soft. I he don't just understand feels like what... too many people ran with the narrative that he needs mental help instead of just being like he's going too hard on the court that they don't want to pull it to like mental health. But Stephen Jackson said that even Draymond said that he needed to you know uh, work on some things individually. But you wonder if that was like something he just said just to hopefully get a lesser sentence or if like he's, John Morant, yeah, like or you know if he truly meant it. And he might think that he doesn't need any mental help. But, you know, he just doesn't like people checking him on the uh, basketball court because he's going to check him back. Uh, and I don't really think that's going to change. I think Draymond's going to always be Draymond. But if he wants to avoid the suspensions and major fines, he's got to cool it a little bit. And I don't understand why people hate on uh, Stephen A's takes. I mean, he's literally paid to hear his opinions on sports topics. So, like he said, he's not going to make everyone happy with his opinion. You might like him, you might hate him, but at the end of the day, he's going to do his job. So... Uh, I'm gonna side with Stephen A. on this one and think that like, hey, stop being such uh, so sensitive. I mean, everybody. I mean, a lot of people don't like him because he's, they feel like he's Uncle Tom. <laughs> like for real, they feel like yeah, Uncle Tom. You always picking the other people's side, and this is just another time where like you were supposed to help a brother out where a brother was on his knees, is hurt, and you kicked him down. Well, how's he on his knees? Because he was. You see, he choked. He choked that Rudy Gobert, and he uh, he took also, Rudy to the ground. Then he punched pool. I mean, he did a whole bunch of things. So. I understand where Draymond's coming from. Uh, I mean, like, he feels like you could have just helped me out. We cool. We friends. But then again, Stephen A. Smith, like he said, he's done. A, he does a whole bunch of takes. So it's a lot of times where he always gives Draymond praise. So, I mean, what's one bad comment? And especially if it's a topic where they ask you, like, what do you feel about True. this person doing this bad thing? What are you going to be like, oh, I refuse to talk about it? Or, like, That's what you you're going to be like, oh, no, he didn't do a bad thing, even though, like, you can literally have footage of what he did. So, but, I mean, but it's not like Kevin Durant. Like Kevin Durant, I know, really don't like him because remember he's like, oh yeah, he be lying on me. He be saying like inside sources said this. He's like my inside sources don't know you. We don't talk to you. Talking about people in the locker room. Be like, like Kevin like, might be like, like Kevin Durant's camp. He be like, I don't even know nobody in my camp. He'll, he'll pay to know him. Exactly. I mean, hey, you know what? These, these sports, these sports analysts that go real deep with it. Uh, but I All mean, nice and deep, like. And then also in this whole interview, I mean, he. Stephen A. Smith didn't even get it that bad. He should have seen what Skip Bayless. Like he said, Skip Bayless was a hater. Man, I really miss Skip and Shannon. I feel like they were the best duo, and I feel like Skip better I, than uh, Stephen I, A. and Skip. I feel like Undisputed is not near as good with the new cats that they got. Paul Pierce. Uh, yeah, it sucks. I don't know if they even had him back, but He's I don't. Back. I don't really like First Take even that much. I actually like Nightcap. 
on uh, Shannon's own YouTube better than either one of them. So I don't I don't really find myself watching. I watch first take here and there, especially since Shannon's still on there if they're talking basketball or they have someone like JJ Reddick on there talking basketball. I'll check it out, but I really do like uh, either JJ Reddick's podcast on his own where he's breaking stuff down. He even does one-on-one videos with is that uh Tim Legler. Yeah. And those videos are pretty good, but uh I mean, the only the only bad part about those is is that they don't have they don't have highlights. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's the, the that's bad a bad thing, man. I, I, w- I hate that the NBA is so so stringent on that that some of those podcasts you can't use clips. So yeah, cuz even on a uh, nightcap whether he's with Gilbert or Ocho Cinco, uh Shannon uh I don't think they have clips. And then even if you go to Gilbert's uh, Gil's Arena podcast, they have the clips on the jumbotron where you really it's hard for you to see where you can kind of see it. Mm-hmm. But so they don't they don't get uh you know messed up or blocked. Yeah, so I mean that's the only thing that's really that's the, I think that's the only thing that's really keeping a lot of these like these news these uh, sports stations afloat like ESPN and uh, Fox Sports Network is the fact that like they get to show highlights. Like, but even on Undisputed, some of the games they don't show highlights. But that's where they only talk about games. It's only showed on Fox. They don't show those highlights. So. I mean, we are gonna see how this goes. Hopefully, I mean, they are gonna make a man. The NFL, the NBA season is about to be over with, so I'm pretty sure once the season starts back up again, they'll be cool again. I mean, because it's Stephen A. Smith and it's Draymond. It's not like it's yeah, Kevin I mean, Durant or Kwame Brown. And we got to see with uh, you know, because Draymond was on TNT and cool with the TNT crew, and they're all gonna that don't mean nothing. No, you wonder if Draymond's gonna try to get on ESPN. Hell no! Nah. Now if you can't, you ain't gonna get ESPN if you're not cool with us. Exactly. So you wonder if he's gonna change that or not even try to mess with them or just be on NBC. He already burned. I think he already burned that bridge. He don't burn it. I mean, nowhere else to go. I mean, you might as well go to uh, NBC or something like that. And That's what I was saying. Yeah. Just try to get on that, but I doubt that it happened. They finna get like a whole new cast. But uh, speaking of burnt bridges, we gotta talk about my co-host's favorite girl. And uh, we got uh, basically Caitlin Clark getting a bunch of hate. There's a narrative out there that a bunch of uh, girls are, uh, you know, uh, in the WNBA are kind of looking down on her, hating on her, playing her physical, trying to show her what the deal is. And we got, uh, you know, Charles Barkley throwing in his two thoughts. He says, um, petty women hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting all y'all private charters, money, and visibility. So it's like without her, y'all aren't getting all these perks. So you need to stop being haters. And even the views, uh, uh, co-host, uh, Sonny, uh, was it Hostin, um, suggests WNBA player Caitlin Clark's popularity comes from uh, pretty privilege and white <laughs> privilege. Um, I don't know that girls looking like Nicolas Cage had pretty privilege, but if those are the type of girls they're into, you have a problem. That's Just a- like this guy. And shout out my boy Fred. He loves Caitlin Clark. He loves himself some snow bunnies. And shame on you, Frederick. <laughs> you hate it but now nah, i mean it doesn't make any sense the hate that you people have for caitlin clark is just sickening like the fact i always knew it was weird i was like how come these files look so hard nowadays you've seen yeah. caitlin clark mm-hmm. running to these screens taking real hard screens it, uh, yeah it's basically like the, it's basically like her players not telling her like oh the block for uh the, the screen is coming or anything like that it remind me remember the titans remember how like in the beginning how they oh, wasn't yeah. on sides. Like, oh yeah, you're not telling you. You have to tell your line to block for me. They ain't blocking. He's like, it's like one of those situations. Like sabotaging. Yeah, and then like it didn't like it made the the ad more insult to the whole injury, the whole injury situation when like she got clotheslined out the sky. Oh yeah, that one old player. Like I forget the player that clotheslined her, but she's been pretty good and been in the league for a long time. And she like smashed her to the ground, where she like <laughs> is on the ground. And, like, barely gets up. And then she finally gets up. And then they get the ball again. And she starts to post up again. And the girl just slams her off the ground again. (laughs) And that's the clip that everyone saw. So, she actually slammed her twice in a row. So, (laughs) it seems like a lot of these WNBA players are trying to say, like, you know, especially ones that have been in the league a few years. Be like, we've been good. We've been here. And I don't understand how all the hype is just because all the girls in this freshman class, like, we've been here. And we're going to show you that these girls aren't as good as you think. So, a lot of girls have been getting the – you know, from this draft class, they've been, uh, you know, the vets been trying to stick it to them. And then what's the uh, one girl for the L.A. Sparks, the blonde one, Steph Curry's? Uh, Cameron Brinks. Brinks, yeah, she's uh, she's been doing real well. And uh, so we'll have to see how she pans out. But uh, well, it'll be interesting to see who wins Rookie of the Year. I mean, right now, Angel Reese, I think, is doing pretty good. 
Caitlin Clark's shooting percentage is not the greatest. She's been honestly pretty trash from three. So she shoots a lot of them. She but makes what's, a I mean, few, what's the number? What's the number? Are you putting a boy's number on the girls' basketball? As far as I know, the girls typically shoot really well. Uh, so is it, I, is it like I don't 35% know. Thirty-five percent of the I know the men's average is around thirty-five cent uh, percent, but uh, I think Caitlin's like in the twenties or high I mean, well, is right it now. the same number for girls? Like if if a girl, because I've seen like a uh, girl can be, average like twelve points. They like, oh yeah, she's the, they got to be better than that, man. Not t- from three point. I don't know. They gotta be shooting better than twenty percent from three. That's coming down below. What's a, what's a good number for if you, for the WNBA? I gotta see what Diana number? Taurasi's been shooting from three. Exactly, but we got a video right here. Basically, basically, uh, the co-host from the View basically talking about the situation, saying it's because of pretty pretty privilege. Then we got my dog Charles Barkley, basically setting the record straight. How y'all just disrespectful to the game? That being said, I do think that there is a thing called pretty privilege there is a thing called white privilege there is a thing called tall privilege and we have to acknowledge that and so um the part of it is about race because if you think about the britney grinders of the world you know why did she have to go to play in Russia? Because they wouldn't pay her. Because they wouldn't yeah, pay her. Because they but wouldn't yeah, pay her. Not because she was black, but because they didn't believe well, well, in, that, in the know, WNBA. This is, this is part of my point. So yeah. now, you know, sh- Caitlin Clark is bringing this money, these sponsorships, we hope, we hope into the league, and other players will benefit yeah. from it. But I do think that she is more relatable to more people because she's white, because she's attractive. And unfortunately, there still is that stigma of against the LGBTQ plus community. You women out there, y'all petty, man. Hey, LeBron, you 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty, girls. <laughs> y'all petty. Men to be petty, because we're the most insecure group in the world. Yeah, you are. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters, all the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. Don't be petty like dudes. Listen. I say like that's what people don't give her a chance. This is growth. We tell our rookies every single day, this is new. You're coming into a whole nother new world and starting over. So it, it's, the questions are only annoying because it's like, She's young. She's a rookie. Y'all keep asking us these questions. That's 33.9. Woman that's been in this league for years. Like, no, she's doing her job. We're doing ours. And at the end of the day, that's how we grow is when we get better and we do things like that. So, yeah, I'm just exhausted over the conversation because I know she's exhausted. I can only imagine. So, and yeah. so far as the charters and this and that, I don't care if Kermit the Frog made the change. We've been fighting for this. <laughs> Mickey over here. <laughs> we've, been, we've been pushing. I mean, I played in this league at 99, and we were traveling the same way. And I'm, like I said, I don't really care who's bringing this or who's bringing the crowds. What I care is that they're there and they're on the eyes and they see how great women's basketball is. That's what I care about. And that's a mic drop. Bye. Period. <laughs> they're saying, well, Caitlin Clark's averaging 15 points. And for the season, she's 31.6%. 31%. 31.6 percent it's below average what, 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 what's her uh, diana trussie got uh the league average is 34 percent. i just looked 34 up. 31 that's right there it's three percent for being the best three-point shooter in college not even be able to shoot a uh, league average i mean you get you see every she's time, shooting like 10 a game she has cte uh, you know you see in the screens <laughs> You should be glad she can even see the goal. She got the brain damage. Exactly. Every time you turn around, she's getting smacked. I mean, but uh, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, but it doesn't make any sense because Caitlin Clark has been giving praise ever since she's coming to the league. She talked about Maya Moore, you know, Candace Parker, Lisa Leslie, Diana Taurasi. Yeah, like we I mean, talked th- why, about. why people ain't show up for Diana Taurasi? She's been killing it for a lot of years. Horrible. I mean, I mean hey, but like I said, Diana Taurasi has been killing it. Candace Parker's been, she dunked. All that other stuff, you know, Asia Wilson, she's two time MVP, two time champion, uh, going for a three P, going for a three P. So, I mean, look, WNBA has been doing it, they've been trying, but I mean, they've been moving up slow and steady like a turtle. But ever since uh, Caitlin Clark's been coming on, I mean, like viewership has been jumping out the roof, uh, jersey sales jumping out the roof. Every game is jumping out the roof. Man, it's been going so much that I actually look – every time I turn on an NBA game, I check to see if a WNBA game is on too. see who's playing. To see who's playing because, I mean, before I didn't we, even we, care. Not going to lie, we've been checking out the Bayou Barbie. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple of hug games. Or the uh, the Dallas Wings are pretty good. True. Shout out the Dallas Wings. Shout out the Dallas Wings. Shout out the Fever. I'm just the Sparks. We've seen the Sparks game. I uh, do. I you do see like what Gilbert the, Arenas came out there on the Sparks. They they all wore the Lexi shirts. Oh yeah, yeah. I would say their coach is the Dallas uh, or not a Dallas. Uh, the Lakers Sparks. Lakers Spark. She is Sparks. Lakers Spark. Yeah, but then on top of man, but it's so cutthroat. In the WNBA, I think it's like only 14, 15 spots. So, is that like they got the G League? That the they NBA? don't, yeah, there's no G League and they only have a handful of teams. They don't have near as many teams as they do in the NBA. So, it's a lot of uh, fewer spots available. So, it, once you're done with college, like if you don't make a team, you just got to play overseas. But do you think that the WNBA needs to basically make it look easier for Caitlin Clark because at the end of the day right special. now is one they one in six. If they go twenty even though last year they they're gonna, won, they're they gonna, won thirteen games last year, right? They so, are gonna do her like they did Wemby. Her team is gonna get their ass kicked every night uh-huh. and she's just gonna have to take it on the chin and uh, she's gonna have uh, you know some highlight plays here and there. And ESPN is going to show them but every single time she does as any type of semi highlight. And her first year, they're going to get their butt whipped. They might get five more wins, but I don't think they're turning around like that. They got to wait. They probably got to get another player but will free people agency, watch that? a draft pick. I mean, people went and watched Wimby just for his highlights. I mean, but do, I mean, is it I like mean, honestly? So basically, like, is she is she basically Floyd Mayweather? You just basically watch it and lose. You you gonna watch Floyd Mayweather lose? No, I mean you're not just watching. I mean because they're gonna lose every. They, like you remember, we were gonna do this topic last week. Uh, topic last week, he's like, oh yeah, Caitlin Clark. They they haven't won the game yet. They're like zero and five. Yeah, they finally won their. And first they finally game. won one. They're like one and six now. So what if they keep losing games? It's people just, are gonna I think it's just stop gonna watching. Be, I know. I think it's just gonna be like Victor. I mean the Spurs. The Spurs Victor. kept lo- losing games. I mean of course since the regular season ended. But until literally up until the season ended, you were still getting Victor highlights every time he played. Man, every I've, time he did a jump shot that looked cool, every time he did a dunk, every time he did a, a block that looked neat, they were showing that that shit like way over. And it's like, yeah, but they still lost by thirty. But they're like, did you see the Wemby play? Even though they're losing by thirty every night. That's what I'm saying. Like they did that for Wemby, so why can't Caitlin Clark be the anomaly of the WNBA where? She's going to have these, like, plays where she's shooting three-pointers five mm-hmm. feet beyond the line and making them, but they're still going to lose by 20 points every night. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, t- it's what will be nice is, you know, t- a lot of girls and, and people overall will go out to see Caitlin Clark. But what if she stops making the hat? What if she stops making the logo threes because everybody guarding her so hard? Or what if she gets I mean, hand- that's part of it, too. I, remember, I feel what, like when that's she why she, she's what? getting hard, uh, guarded so hard is because people will be like, oh, you think you the ish? You're not even the fart. Well, like, you remember, like, remember when she ran into the screen and she twisted her ankle and, like, everybody got all quiet? Yeah. So, I mean, it was... So she got to be tougher than that. So, okay, so if she gets injured not for the season, the whole WNBA thing is, like, nobody's going to watch the WNBA then. You think so? If I she, mean, if she's not playing... If she's not playing... But she what gets, the problem is, probably people already bought their tickets, so them seats is bought. You don't mean nothing. They can't people, sell them back. People ain't going to go. Just don't go. Might as well go see her on the bench, wave. Exactly. All right, well, like, <laughs> nobody got time for I'm that. Yeah. Nobody got time. I remember time. I got excited when T-Mac was on the Spurs, and I got to see him live. He was on the bench. He, he was old. You expected it. You, you yeah, didn't expect but I was like, T-Mac, throw me an armband. Exactly, but if T-Mac was like 27, you'd be like, why aren't you playing? Yeah, but he's not Like, why? Well, everyone knows Kawhi is not playing. <laughs> exactly. But, I mean, comment down below how y'all feel about this. Do you feel like, I mean, if the – the, if Caitlin Clark does get injured, the viewership is going to go down. Or even if she does go down, I mean, we still got Angel Reese. We still got Cameron Brinks. Should she get favorable whistles just because she's a new face? Um, Jordan did. Yeah. Exactly. No, he never got favorable whistles. That's a lie. It was a Jordan versus the refs. It was a Jordan. They had the whole thing. They said you couldn't even touch Jordan. Propaganda. Exactly. The Jordan or or, Kyrie, or or the Kevin Durant, how he uh, he on, he was on the set when he was on the Warriors and he uh, the championship game and he ran all out of bounds and he didn't even call out of bounds. Propaganda, I told you. No, pro- that was real. They did do that. <laughs> they did help Kevin Durant cheat. See, you know the, those Warriors were basically like Suicides the, the, get, uh, the cheating uh, Patriots. They made a whole book called the Jordan Rule. Oh, you know, I saw on TNT they did a sports documentary about the cheating Saints. Oh yeah, you talk about how, uh, how, how Drew Brees was a phony. 
Not how their was in, uh, was in Sean Payton was a phony. How they uh, should have they messed up Brett Favre and Kurt Warner with a little nah, it wasn't. Hits, so I think the story was trying Brett to Brett Favre should have got another Super Bowl. Nah, it, it wasn't, wasn't it. for the Saints cheating. That's a lie. That's exact, I watched it. The story I thought the story was like trying to clean up the image, saying like, "Oh, it wasn't our fault. We didn't mean to do it." Oh, they tried it, but then they showed the evidence, and it was a hundred percent their <laughs> no, fault. No, and no, they no, did no. Do exactly what exactly. they thought. Exactly. No, no, no. So, they were paying players to do illegal cheap hits. <laughs> they have them on video. They yeah, have them okay. on audio. And uh, okay. the players was funny is even though they have them on video and on audio they stick with the whole multiple documentary. times, they said that, oh, we didn't do it. And they're like, what about this video clip? Or what about this audio clip? is saying, give me my money for my illegal hit. And he's like, what? So, so, okay. He's so like, that's AI. So the whole documentary was about what? Uh, the Saints doing uh, Bounty Gate. And it, what, the illegal hits and what, paying players for illegal what, hits after the whistle. What were they trying to say? They said to say they, that was that what happened. They said they never got paid. They said all oh, that was fake. Yeah, but then they had them on video, <laughs> saying, "You like that hit? You like that hit? Give me my money. I told you I was gonna get it." <laughs> so oh, propaganda. So no, it's Drew Brees is a phony. They should have vacated that championship, <laughs> and the Saints uh, will never, they'll never win again. Let's see, man. I mean, they may never win again, but it's not because of that. But I mean, it is because of that because they cheated. Speaking of, speaking she just for life, just like Tom Brady. Just like this next topic right here. Your favorite boxer of all time? Oh, the ultimate cheater? Well, my dog ain't cheat. Looks like here Ryan Garcia tested positive again for Otostrion. What? What's the how you say the OS? Ron Garcia's drug test B sample results came back positive for Ostratane. I don't know how to say that. I'm not into boxing, or I don't know what so, steroids are called. Steroids. So, I mean, it looks like Austin. here the B sample has been taken. If you didn't know, Devin Haney, Bill Haney is still trying to get this L off his record, trying to get it marked down. There's no contest. They're saying that uh, – I mean, not saying. I mean, it came up in the it came up in his uh in the blood in the in the sample that he had a small amount of steroids in the system, but they're saying that it was some people saying it was so small that it's it like wasn't negligible. enough. It wasn't enough to affect the fight, but some people are saying like it doesn't matter. You had it in your system. They it, it caught it in your system. You need to get uh penalized for this situation. I think he might get suspended. There's supposedly a lot of supplements now, even though they don't say they're using like uh, steroids on the low. Yeah. They do have those as the ingredients. You remember like I the whole a rod situation? How did they, oh yeah, I'm not using steroids. I'm not using no, steroids. No, he was using them. He was using the cream. Yeah, and then I was trying to put it on the big cat to get him to play well. <laughs> oh, horrible. Um, um, but they, this is what they tried to do with... Um, Tyson Fury. So actually, no, Canelo. And Canelo, Canelo yeah. uh, they ended up suspending him. For six months. For no... Uh, was it six months? Yeah, he got suspended was, for six months. It was a short time because they did the hair sample and the hair sample came back clean. So supposedly Ryan Garcia has done the hair sample and it has come back clean. So they're thinking that they're not going to overturn the fight since it's such a small amount and he may get like a few months suspension. But they don't think it's going to be anything crazy where they're going to vacate the win or, uh, you know, ban him for life or ban him for nah, multiple years. I've so. seen people actually, I mean, only like two or three people saying like ban him for life is a disgrace to boxing. But I mean. Oh, and if you're watching this on TFTC Clips, remember, we're not a boxing podcast or a current events podcast. We do like boxing and UFC, but we're not, su- you know, super fanatics of that. So if you were super fanatic of boxing and want to drop some information tidbits in the comment section, please do that down below. Because uh, we're not even trying to fake. Like some people are like, "Oh, y'all, this is a boxing podcast. How do you not know every fighter's uh, height, wingspan, weight, and what they like to eat for breakfast?" Exactly. But I mean, like, I mean, but some other some other notable boxers that basically failed the 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 drug the the, the steroid test was basically like James Tony, Sugar, uh, Shane Mosley. They had uh, what Canelo, like Michael said, Tyson Fury got suspended for two years. Dang. But I mean, a lot of these boxes. I mean, like, the way they boxing, you probably like some like what like they box like one fight a year. Some people doing like two fights a year. So if he does get a suspension for six months or a year, I mean, like most likely he's not gonna basically have his fight, and he's gonna be able to just practice and everything. And then once the suspension's over, he's gonna have his next fight then. Cause that's what Canelo did. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times they the fighters do their you know big breaks in their fights. So mm-hmm. if they get suspended six months or a year, they're like, I was taking six months or a year off anyways. Sure. It's crazy how much boxers like actually like don't fight and you're like man this guy's only done like five pi- fights in the last seven years true that's a lot they're of they're trying to keep themselves like from getting punched drunk yeah. so they don't end up like muhammad ali 
Exactly. It's Muhammad Ali cheated one time. They say he uh, he failed a test. So I mean, uh, Floyd Mayweather. And then his brain failed him. Remember Floyd Mayweather and the whole Manny Pacquiao thing I was telling you before how they was doing like the the daily uh, the daily Olympic style. I think it was Olympic style drug. Uh, oh Olympic yeah, they testing. tried to say Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, they didn't. They were. It was just too much. I mean, well, boxing. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, it, with it's this, a lot of stuff with betting. It's always been in betting. True. So anything with bookies in Vegas. Uh, that's big in Vegas. It's always kind of you know rumors of it being cheating. A lot of people think that boxing is more like a upscale WWF. Uh, that it's all uh, you know all fake. So put it down in the comments below. Do you think that boxing still has its integrity, or is there a lot of BS going on behind Do the you, scenes? Okay, but if okay, so let's say the commission the uh, the commission comes out and says, okay, we're gonna suspend Ryan Garcia and we gonna that fight that you did with Devin Haney, we gonna mark it as no contest. So vacate it and have him rematch? No, 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 no re- rematch at all. Uh, no rematch at all. That's what Devin Haney would want. He would want to duck. No, it. I think yeah, De- Devin Haney's talking about he doesn't want to rematch with. I mean, Bill's like he doesn't want to rematch with a cheater. He doesn't want to rematch with a cheater. So I mean, do you think even if so if he that's if a stain he, in his career, man. He get beat like that. He still, got beat still, like a redheaded still, stepchild. Still a stain on his career, even yeah. if there's no contest. Because he stained his shorts, <laughs> and he stained his manhood. So you could take the L off the record, but we still remember that. Still but have the L on life. That's still like Meek Mill still gets memes about him falling down the stairs, <laughs> or him bunny hopping. <laughs> even if he explained it, can't explain that away. Oh uh, man! But comment down below how you feel about this whole Ryan Garcia situation. Do you feel like they need to, need, need to drop it and move on to the next fight, or you feel like no? Ryan Garcia needs to be punished. He needs to be suspended for a year or two years like uh, Tyson was or like Canelo. But we're done with boxing. Let us know if you want more boxing topics. But it's time to get to the music section, the end of the show, where we go through our music picks and this new music Monday. Uh, you know, shout out everyone uh, for the holiday weekend. So we're doing – we got to update this to say Tuesday. So podcast drops every Tuesday, every week. I mean, you can make a new – I mean, you probably can make a new one. So yeah. You got to make it. Yeah, I need to make a new one. Uh, but yeah, here's our music mix number five. If you go to our playlist, we got music mix Updated number three five. days ago. Oh, uh, you know, we got 30 videos on that. If you want channel or a playlist with like over two, 300 songs, check out music mix one through four. We got a bunch of songs going there. We're constantly updating that every week. Tales from the crib every Tuesday. Um, check out the new music. We got some projects. We got Ben Staples, Moneybag Yo, Coyla Ray, D Baby, uh, Jack Boy, Ray Swish. Uh, Shanisha, or what is it, Shin, Shinsia, uh, Smoke Dizza, uh, Sexy Red, Quavo had a single, uh, YG had a single, and Glorilla, yeah. Tay Money, Russ, uh, D Savage. Oh, and the, uh, J. Cole was on a new single, the Cash and, and, and everyone clowned him because yeah. he was talking about how grippy it was. And they're like, what are you doing, J. Cole? You're not the grippy man. I mean, I don't know, I don't know why he was on that Cash Caban song, but I mean, everybody's been messing with him. A Boogie with the hoodie, a lot of people. So he, he's upcoming. I mean, the Quillery album, she did the whole thing. It's an EP with Air Drummers. Uh, with that, I mean, she's going with her new sound. It's like just, just soft singing type of stuff. Money back, yo, money back, yo, didn't drop anything. Trash. D Baby, uh, we I heard D Baby song album. It's all right. Have you heard of D's? Horrible. Jack Jesus. Boy, Jack Boy, that's my pick. The raw Swisher, speaking the elevated of, music, speaking of your fire. Uh, but my pick, you already know, man. I got Jack Boy. Trust the process. A bang he ain't Joel and B, 16, baby. 16 tracks. Uh, I want to say at least like seven, eight bangers on it. I like it a lot. I'm mean, probably more than that. Is Kodak Black approved? Of course. Is he I seeing like, his way to the top? Nah. I, I like it a lot, except for the slow songs. I mean, uh, I'm stopped by Meech. That song right there is fire. He uh, he got a song with Boosie on it. That's fire also. You know it's Free Wife and Luchi all, Luchi all day. Free the Luch. But, I mean, I didn't check it out. I mean, you know, Jack, boy, he really surprised me with this one. I ain't going to lie. He really surprised me with this tape. I definitely, I definitely need to check it out. Um, but also, I mean, I have had between this or the elevator music, the elevator music uh, tape is fire. Coiler Ray is only like five, six songs. It's straight. And we're going with my pick what of the you week. you got? Sexy Red. Get it, sexy. sexy. We Trust. Executive produced by Take His. She got the BBL comeback song of the year. You My Everything featuring Drake. Where Drake turned the BBL this. That song already got a million views on YouTube. A BBL hit. 
He said, I don't got the BBL. I paid for the BBLs, baby. <laughs> Hard and he even got 21 Savage to tell Metro to go make some drums again on Instagram Live. So the slander will continue. But let us know, did you listen to Sexy Red's new, I think it's an EP. I don't know if it's a CD. I mean, it's more, it can't be an EP. got all those tracks on it. got more than 10 tracks. My CD, I guess. But let us say- know if you're down with her pro- uh, latest project. It's got 14 songs. Yeah. Uh, Little Baby, Vaughn Off 1700, Michael Fire. Made It, uh, and Drake. So check that out. Let us know if you're a fan of Sexy Red and do you get it sexy? But like, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, watch this video this far and you haven't liked, comment, and subscribe. What are you doing with your life? Like, exactly, comment, man. subscribe. Check us out on Twitter, aka X, Papa Oblock, Felix Supreme 305. Check us out on all the social medias. We'll get out of the way here. You can see. We got the QR code for our TikTok. We'll be TikToking all day long, chopping up the show, chopping up clips. Check out Crib Reactions. This is the 10K subs there. Follow us on the Instagram, Tales from the Crib 210. There is that QR code so you can follow us on the Instagram, man. But before we get out of here, let me bring Play on my music. Let me bring on the Drake tunes. I don't know. Is this a Drake beat? Put it down below. But thanks for tuning in. Chico Ronnie, Chico Two Times, Felix Supreme. 305. 305. It's episode 158. Hope y'all had a great Memorial weekend. Hope y'all are enjoying your Tuesday. Don't worry, the week's already almost over. As we started one down, baby. Exactly. But check us out every week. Check out TFTC clips, TFTC gaming, crib reactions. Check out everything we do. TikTok, Instagram, X. We do it all, baby. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for partying with us. Let us know what else you want on this channel. NFL videos coming back. We'll have an NBA final solo breakdown video. Temple was kept taking it back. We're going from 0, 3 to 4 and 3. We're going all the way to the ship. No, you see these uh, green lines right here? That's the Timberwolves' soul going out of their body as they end up going fishing. 1, 2, 3, Cancun. <laughs> but it's your boy, Chico Grande, Chico Two Times. Felix Bumpin' Supreme 305. We will see you in the next podcast.